Mm. All right, I'm all set up. I think. All right. I think it's going to be done right around the time the top eight starts. So perfect. Go ahead and get the show on the road. I didn't get to watch this last night because this shit was at like. The shit was at like 3 a.m. or something. It was something crazy. And I had work in the morning. So, you know. Might as well watch it now. That way I know what's going on in top eight. But let's get this shit started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Evo Japan 2020. I am your host, Hell Pockets, returning with my co-host, Evo, world's top eight Samurai Shodown commentator, Aru. How you doing, Ooh. man? Pretty good, man. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with you. This is our first time working this together. This is our first time working together. So I'm super excited. Obviously, you know, I'm a, a huge fan. I didn't realize Aru. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I'm was, glad. I know he was commentating, I but I didn't know. I thought it was going to be top eight. Oh, no, for real. Oh, this is a ravioli. I'm super looking forward to this. We've got a lot of talent um, lined up for you guys. This this is the third round of pools, so there's been a lot of action happening all day, um, and basically we got rid of all the all the nonsense for you guys. All the nonsense we basically out got of the way, and a bunch of really strong left. players left. Yeah, <laughs> only so. the killers. Left. So I know you were trying to watch pools earlier on today, yeah. like you were over there in the scrum. Mm. And I see on Twitter, yeah, I, I, I should turn it up. Man, I can't see anything. Yeah, dude. So did you right. manage to catch anything over there? <laughs> Hell no. no. I saw that. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. You're like, forget about it. Yeah. I caught you over at the SNK we playing VSP. Yeah. I was like, all right, yeah. yeah you know me. I, I tried to like, I tried to do the same thing as soon as we were done this morning. I went over there. I was like, I can't see a darn thing. There's just so many players. Did you watch this already, Ravioli? They're sitting there like they're they're scheming, dude. Like yeah, they're exactly. not if they're not playing, they're just watching. Like who am I gonna play next? Yeah. What's this guy doing? It's serious out here. And I'm loving it. I'm yeah. loving it. I love it too. Yeah, uh, a lot of very talented players. A lot of uh, people that I think normally we don't get to see very often um, from you know from overseas. Yeah, totally. Uh, so I'm super excited to see all the all the names that pop up. Uh, you you commentated earlier today, right? I commentated earlier today. We actually, it was actually, I wanted to point out that it was actually a pretty good spread. Oh, of Harumi gets to play. Regional representation. That was the last match I saw yesterday. Yeah. Oh, you you commentated one of her matches. I commentated. She ended up the she ended the block, uh -huh. uh, very convincing fashion, um, and with a victory. But we had people from France, we had people from Morocco, we had oh. people from China, no all within the first block of uh, commentary today. I saw a Mexican player up there, too. The Mexican uh, player was yeah. up there also, yeah. So pe people were just coming out the woodwork for Evo Japan, and these are not names that I was... I saw the Mexican play. player. He got washed. Uh -huh. This is a whole different ball game out here, and they're all fighting for that beautiful... Oh, I'm glad, you, I'm glad I got you. I got some company. Spot. And I believe this is a button check. Most so, certain. How do we play Shizumaru then, huh? Uh, how do we, when we saw her last, she was playing Ginjiro, but she okay. could quite possibly have a pocket Shizumaru, which is uh, highly recommended. These yeah, days. yeah, these days, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I, at least over in the West, mm. we feel that uh, Shizumaru is pretty strong. He's alright, yeah, he's, he's kind of good. Yeah, yeah, good character. Little, little good, good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she does have a pocket Shizumaru. Alright. And she's going to be going up against uh, Benji. I'm pretty Bart, sure she's is the main. The UK, uh, and Gendro's aside. Maru, yeah. What, your character. You know how I feel. There's plenty of Yashamaru's in fucking brackets. You know, I can't help but feel Yashamaru's like a top character. Like, okay. <laughs> like, at least as good as Tam Tam. But you know, if y'all watch my video on the tier list, I already said all what I had to say about Yashamaru. But maybe he's better than I think, even better than I think he is. But like, I just want to say, Benji Buckley's only job here is to bait the DP. Don't try to stand up with this kid up close. He's gonna... Yeah, no, he's got quite a lot of options too. Basically. Oh, man, that, 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 that JC is so good. Oh, oh my god. 
So she's got that corner positioning now. Uh, pretty hard for uh, Yashimaru to fight his way out. Yeah, he doesn't like. Oh wow, he just runs right under. But still at the life deficit right now, so he doesn't like having to play the turtle. Nice punish. When he's got so much life to make up for. You notice both these players now using the run under option to get out of the corner. And he Buckley. I don't know that guy. Maneuver in this game. He's not playing badly though. Get yourself out of there. That's like super scary. Like you almost have to be committing to it before you know that they're gonna jump. Exactly. Yeah, and it can be it can be really scary against characters with like really good cross up buttons. Harvey, of course, knows that uh, Yashimaru doesn't have a very good cross-up button. Um, but Shizumaru, on the other hand, he has that jump B of his. Covers both sides of his. So you got to be really careful when running under him. Oh, God. And just like that, Benji Buckley taking back the lead. Mm -hmm. Or rather, taking it for the first time in this match, and the clock is ticking. Yeah. Almost over. To me, this is what this character is good at. Matchup. Getting the lead and just, like, position. running with it. Why oh, would you goodness. do that? Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna. It's fine. So how do we recognizing that it's fine. Benji I don't know why Benji would have a life lead and, and didn't do that. Oh, no. Went for kind of a hairy <laughs> there. Went for the cross up on the. Uh, that was like um, yeah, just bad decision making. He had the he had earned the lead and just yeah. threw it away. But uh, yeah, unfortunate. Uh, tough break there for Benji Buckley. Hard me up one round. Probably holding on to another button for another crazy down war. Um, and I'm gonna wanna oh there we go. I'm gonna wanna see Yashimaru play that distance he's at right now. Five Man, I waited all day to come just keep, fucking watch this shit. Uh, Shizumaru outside I, of that comfortable range. I had to deal with so much shit today uh, in my job. This is relieving. Nice cross up there. Oh, oh my goodness, fuck. The overhead, but no big conversion. No reason for him to get that much closer. There we go. Keep him out. Yeah, using that five B uh to uh Kind of keep Chizumaru away. Mm. Very nice air to air. Good, good reset, stuff. Uh, See, if, as long as you don't just dash C at the end of a huge life lead, you should be okay. Honestly, you yeah, should I mean, never 660 this character because this character's SSM can punish 660. Harmy's been uh, kind of at any range challenging that 5B, the, the, the poke, that one right there. Yeah. Wow, what a whip punch, though. That, that, it's, that, it's, that's it's relaxation station. The hurt box hangs out there a little bit too long. Mm hmm. Nice air That's, there, that over. button, man, Ooh. is something else. Overhead into the knockdown. The key stuff. Yeah. I definitely respect her going for the the sliding kick instead of going for the dash. You know, honestly, the JC would not even be too big of a problem yeah, if Season Marlowe's uh, jump arc wasn't I so, like, <laughs> high. Because then it puts him at an angle where a lot of people have difficulty answering that jump. One interesting thing about uh, Shizumaru, he's got a very uh, low crouching hurt box, so he can probably just crouch underneath the uh, Yashimaru's uh, mediums. That's it's pretty even, though. Uh, Benji's playing right, this correctly. Yeah, Harumi's playing this so as I would expect uh, Shizumaru would play forward. any it matchup. possibly even just hit 2H. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that might even work. I will say this, I don't see Harumi throwing the, um, the umbrella, but I mean... Ten seconds left on the clock. I don't know, maybe she's just not comfortable with it. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. You gotta be shitting me. The one time he didn't double jump. Bad or something else. So, wow. Uh, Benji Buckley so dragon spins. With the rage meter unspent. A tough break for him. I can't say that he... I hope he doesn't go to character select here. I thought he played everything fairly well. He did everything right, and then just like in key moments he made a bad decision. Or the decision he made did not pan out. Yeah, no, that was the perfect read from Harumi to, to recognize that he was going to land at that particular spot and time the crazy downpour to hit as he landed. Out, like, right underneath him. Right underneath, yes. I'm good. I'm just tired from work. Work was fucked. So, yeah, but I'm here now. So now I get to sit here and watch Sam's show for three hours. And when I'm done watching this, top eight will happen. And I'll watch it for another hour, two hours. Five hours of Sam's show ahead of me. And I wouldn't even try to challenge the jumpers like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, running right into the poke. Damn. Nice. Uh, that JC was... Into the jump C. Whew. Challenges the run forward. The boy getting a lot of mileage out of that 5M stab. Yep. Ooh, Damn, he's brave. He yeah. I would not be 6 and seeing. Nice just the fact that she's a model's oh, SSM can reach from any range is just so... Oh, kill him! Oh, he should have... He should have... Uh, well, I don't know if it would have killed him. Who knows? Nope. A little too late on that. Well, right over. I thought I, I was for sure thought he should do uh, the five C combo, but oh, get him. there's no guarantee that at that range it'd have been a far as five C. It might have been a close C. Now, that's another thing though. Uh, Harumi now doesn't have that uh, charged up uh, crazy downpour anymore. Right, she's got to start from scratch here. Yeah, so that's a really if you're Benji Buckley, you're feeling really good right now. Oh, totally. 
Oh, looking for that big deflect, possibly into SSM. Wow. Such a mm. good cross-up button. Mm -hmm. Nice. Empty jump into throw. Get the optimal damage right. there. Stay Face right there. Out. Hold that pose. Ooh, oh, get whip on it. And she was absolutely on top of that timing. Five hours in for the long haul. Yeah. He TK. But at least it's a game I like, you know. I don't mind watching five hours in my show. I can't imagine any situation where I'll end up taking a maybe like a break after this after the three hour mark and just. Yeah, you see Harumi now throwing out. Or maybe just fast forward the commentary. Neutral. Kind of getting desperate to. To close the life a little bit. Yeah, I feel like an hour of this is just people talking. Oh! oh. Uh, well, he didn't have to do that. I don't know about that. I think he should have let that go. All right. Now, okay. Oh, he, well, it worked out anyway. <laughs> she did not so she didn't float. She pressed jump C. I'm not sure why. That might have been a misinput on the floor. Oh, my God. Damn. Stone no, face. There's really no reason for her to press jump C at that, at that spacing. So yeah, that might have been a misinput. Could be tournament nerves. I can't tell uh, that was a misinput. You know, pretty sizable crowd watching. Well, remember, though, this is Samurai Showdown. And while you may come into this game with a solid game plan and things seem simple, because because this game is so intense, mm -hmm. it can mess with your brain, and you can make the most simple mistakes that'll, as you see, spell curse. Like God is ass. Absolutely. Whew. I didn't think it was gonna get him with that. I thought that Issa for sure was gonna be a bait in Issa, but Harumi just went for the JC. Yeah, seriously, you can't let uh, in a tournament. You really can't dwell on your losses or anything. Like, mm -mm. just focus completely. Honestly, that burst at the end. To oh, get rid of the SSM, that's actually scary because if you hit them out of the air, it wasn't too terrible of an idea because her, her health is so low that he could have won the round right there. You saw she had to burst back, so it was like an aggressive burst that also took one of the uh, opponent's uh, resources. It took two resources for one, so it wasn't bad. Really? I don't know why. Bro, you're a freak. Nice. Meaty, uh, 6 d mm -hmm. Tries to do it again, but uh, mistimes it a bit. Oh, oh I wow. knew that was coming, so like, that was a, he wanted that way out. Uh -huh. And he saw that Harvey was having a little bit of a, uh, a lead foot situation where she was like, I'm not going to the air that much. Maybe he thought she won't jump out of this dash. Ten seconds left. Oh, what a... Oh, wow, what a great <laughs> that was yeah, pretty good. you can't do that to him, especially when he has rage. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Oh, damn. What good shit. She tried it. She tried that was good. <laughs> that was everything he needed to do to win. Rage yeah, it wasn't quite invincible enough to go right through it. And now, again, same situation as last game. Uh, going into round two with no uh, turnaround punch stored. Oh, my God. She just gambles everything on it. Yeah, the pizza cutter, man. Yeah. Like, People don't use the pizza nice cutter enough, yeah. but this guy seems to know what's what's up. But, but Benji Buckley, obviously having played this matchup before. Mm -hmm. yeah, great awareness. Wow, what amazing space control there from. Oh, no. Oh, no. Faked it. Gets a nice little punish there. Mm -hmm. uh, that rage is active now, so she's got a block on both sides if she gets primed with a button. That is true. That, e that rage buttsaw. I do call it gimmicky, but gimmicks are good in this game. For sure. Especially in tournaments. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't oh, do it. That is so ready to answer fucking good. Uh, this guy is on point. Buckley. Rage version of that just reaches so far. It's pretty fast. There's never a point when Josh, when she's Mario's in the air. Oh! Is she dead? No, oh, no not no, enough not time because she had to reset the timing on it. I can't. You're right, you're right. This dude. But of course, uh, Man, I can't believe sure she did that because she would have died. Oh my god. That was so this guy's good. This is just Shamaru uh, has the whole plan down. One more touch will take it for Harumi. <gasps> oh, no DP. Oh, my God. All right, Harumi's taking some damage here that she doesn't have to, but she can hold on just a little bit longer, and we'll be going into round three. Oh, no. That was she such a smart slide. slide. Forces the race. Yes! Oh, my God. Damn. Ooh, challenges the road. This guy was good. With the, uh, five this guy's good. Really smart. After the race burst on top of He that. knew how to use the pizza Amazing. cutter. He knew how to anti yeah, with the heavy, the so heavy uh, core circle forward. Did everything right. Good stuff. UK's own um, Benji Buckley moving on. That guy's good. That was a nail biter, I gotta say. Everything he did was good. That was just the first game. I have no. I was not expecting everything that things to I have no criticisms. Crazy, but here we are, you know. Our Harumi living and dying by the crazy downpour. Yep. Benji Buckley with a great adjustment from the first match, and as we saw, it was just another Sam Show classic.
You mentioned uh, she played Genjiro earlier, right? She did play Genjiro earlier. I think maybe... How do you feel about that matchup as a Yashimaru player? A Yashimaru player, I love it. Yeah? I love that so, matchup. So, um, you would rather... or Yeah, you would rather play Genjiro than... Oh, e easily, Shizumaru. yeah, okay. than Shizumaru. Because yeah. I actually believe that Shizumaru, uh, despite not having the range of uh, Genjiro, yeah. definitely hurts a lot more. And when he does get in range, there's very little opportunities for me to get out. Sure. And I'm not baiting anything, because he's like, I don't have to even use my DP. Uh-huh. So Whoa, did Samurai Showdown start? Here yeah. That you really have to come to me if you're not... Uh, in the lead already. Whereas with Ginger, I'm just like, I'm always just baiting. Hold up. Yeah, I mean, we saw that from Benji. Uh, he was really controlling space really well. Um, yeah. With his movement. Uh... No, this is fucking uh, Soul Caliber. One second. They have Soul Calibur in uh, the Sam show for some reason. <laughs> All right, well, you guys will keep an eye on that. All right, that's what I was doing. Let's just hurry this along. Like different ranges, like you, with a different like aerial. Up with a heavy in there. Die. Uh, Let's do this. Uh, Next game. Four Americans yeah. from the West Coast, and now people are gonna say Didi Mo KOF is from is from Brazil. Brazil. But who does he practice with? You know, <laughs> the man lives in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. You think he's playing people in Brazil all right. from Vegas? Come on. Okay. So. Our next competitors are getting right into it. Or you know, gotta wait for the load. Um. I Katsuji is on the first player side. Oh, wow, we got a watch move. I don't think I skipped hey. anything. He just opens up with a heavy? Damn! You know, <laughs> 5C he's opener. I'm telling you. He has, he has it for a reason. Yeah, man. That pillar ain't there for just looking pretty. Teru right now. Just Let's see what this wall food does. Yeah, you see, Teru's pressing a lot of buttons, man. Yeah. And I'm sure this is all good data for Katsuji. Um... If he, if he can, like, kind of scout out when uh, Terry likes to press buttons, then he can get huge damage. Oh, 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 oh shit. That. That's make it first. I, yeah, dude. Because he was so behind this round. Yep. Oh, man. Now, Terry with that great opportunity there. Just Good air, like it didn't even matter. Nope. Oh, he, he hesitated. He could have killed his ass. He also did not gain any. Wow. Oh, yo, my Terry's, God. Terry's got the scent, yo. He's, he sees when uh, Katsuyu likes to jump. Uh-huh. Whoa! <laughs> Good shit. Pillar, the this hail guy hail literally just yeets that thing. So this was <laughs> this is actually the first Wanfu we're seeing all day on stream. Oh wow. You know, we have not seen anyone touch this character. We saw two kill shirts before we see Wanfu. That's insane. That is incredible. <laughs> this character's actually really solid. I lost to one at Frosty Fausting. Oh my god, dude. I don't like I'm not saying I don't know anything about him, but at the same time, I'm sure people are just not it's entirely shit. comfortable playing against this character yet. He just no, came out. Sure. Yeah, he's pretty new. Nice, just defend into the guard uh, stance break. Mm -hmm. uh oh, oh, what, what a weird cross up there. Nice air. This guy knows exactly what to fucking do. Oh, here we go. No. Oh, what? No. Oh, kill, no. Reset. Get SSM. What the hell? That's oh, him. He's getting too thirsty. Damn, he's gonna die to throws. Oh, oh. Don't, don't throw the, don't, don't do that, man. Oh well. <laughs> this guy's going crazy. Yo, if I'm Katsuji right now, I'm like, I'm terrified. I, <laughs> this guy, who knows what this guy's about to do, Terry. Any Americans make? I don't think anybody from America this competed. Yucking it up. Except for Aru, terrible. maybe? He just wants to cut you. I could have went and probably got top eight. Like, you can win the war, but I'm about to win this knife battle. <laughs> oh, wow. Chase down the back dash, but wasn't quite ready to convert. But, yeah, I'm poor. Nice air to air. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Can't compete when you're poor. Katsuji has definitely studied the pillar. Uh huh. Good whiff. This this oh, Wanfu is right legit. Thunderous right hands. A medium. You shouldn't be able to block that thing, honestly. Yeah, seriously. I think I Boom. Block that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the second time in a row he's done a recoil cancel after the 2C. Uh, if you're Terry, you gotta be adapting that. Wow, what the hell? One second. G just ran up him into what sort of technique? There it is! Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I think mad fast. Yeah. I was wondering why he got that close to my dude. You know he got a command right. grab, right? Oh, yeah. Mad fast. Like, you, gotta, you really gotta yeah. protect it. Oh, okay. Okay. oh no. Alright. He's staying here, though. This is lucky that they turned past out of secret technique. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> nice overhead. Give him the booty. They wanted to order. They wanted to order a pizza and see if I wanted anything, but I've already eaten. Running right into that uh, medium. Yeah, that's chunking. I mean, that's adding up. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, you see him. Whenever somebody runs right into their face and then does nothing, that's them trying to bait something. Mm -hmm. But uh, that time, Kasuji didn't bite. Like... Yeah, you see most people responding to the run-up guard break with a neutral jump or something like that. Oh my god, again! <laughs> Can you believe this guy just whiff punish with the fucking pillar like that? One more touch, you better believe that dub FD is coming. Oh! Placing those pokes very well. Oh, Kill him! No! Not quite dead yet. He had to do the running version, not as much damage. Think... Oh, no! Oh, my God! You're gonna get him! And that killed him! Jesus. My word. I wonder if we get it through the pillar. Absurd. <laughs> this is... I lost so almost the same way at KIT. <laughs> yeah. And I forgot to throw the fucking pillar. Yeah, this is a very disrespectful Halmar. I love to see it. Ooh. Right. Now Tedder's possibly trying to get a little patient here using the 5M. Yeah. Say, I got a spacing game too, baby. I'll yeah. whip punish. <gasps> oh, oh that was jumped over the Pope and not quite. Uh... Doesn't press the button at the right time. Oh, right? just out of out of range. Oh my god, <sighs> careful there. Oh, this no. this oh, Waffle oh, knows no. what he's doing, he's but he's really just bad. like his face is all fucked up now. Alright, man has picked up the weapon off of that. Yeah, wow. Anti air's ass was fucking right? weapon. He can't get guard broken right now because he no has no longer has rage. He's got to eat whatever uh Katsuji throws at him afterwards. Dude, burst, just burst, man. Just burst. It's the third round, bro. Big whip, but nothing there. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow, punishable. Dude, like, now you can't burst, man! Let go of his weapon. This is not a good situation. Oh, wow. oh my god. You are so lucky. 13 seconds left. Oh, does the cross up. What are you doing, dude? Just fucking burst. Oh! My god. You cannot challenge Wanfu in the air. And you this guy's a nut. Wonderful demonstration of that from Katsuji. I want to see more of this, even though it was questionable. A lot of priority. It's really hard to challenge it. So, um, good awareness from Katsuji. Sees Terry jumping at him and just lets go of the pillar. Um, and takes it. You can't watch the source quality. I don't think I can low. Dude, this shit's. I'm re I'm replaying at 720p. It cannot get any lower. <laughs> Matches. I want to say though, I'm really impressed. I can't believe this dude. People are playing Wanfu at that level already. I know for a versus this for Scrubs. I can't believe he did that. Sure. You know. Yeah. You know why? Like, I can't believe he did it. The reason why I can't believe he did it is because if he throws the pillar and he gets thrown, he can't burst anyway. So I'm surprised he didn't just burst anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just skip the commentary. Wasn't what everybody was we're, try we're trying to get this shit done so I have the time to get, get take a rest and then watch top eight. He was so juiced. Oh, I don't mind. I, I'm pretty sure Ru's commentary has got like, well, we gotta get this shit moving. Oh no, yeah. We got some more matches coming up for you right now. We got Hikaru from Japan versus Gamera. Gamera. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Some sin. Oh God, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. I think they're gonna totally just like, yeah, no sin. No, just no ten kaiju. All I need is five SP, and I'm happy. Celestro. Yeah, everybody's happy. True men have nothing to lose. <laughs> I was, I was actually playing in that. Before. How'd that go? Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, um, it's kind of chaotic over there, of course. Oh yeah. But totally. Running back and forth between different things. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. I know there, I got to meet a lot of the players out here, and uh, they're all really. Nah, this is Shiki versus Darley. Uh, so, you know, definitely if you are in Japan. Uh, Stop by and say hello to the 5SP scene. Yeah, uh, I believe uh, those are space that, uh, run that Thursday I missed it too. I, w I had to sleep early. Um, or no, that just seven that's seven. different. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's but seven. I'm gonna watch all these matches real quick. Oh, okay. yeah. So these are probably top uh, eight starts. One. And I'm trying to get through all these matches so and then get some rest. Yeah, and then stay up for the right, other two hours so of top eight. Guy, and he uh, runs all the stuff in Mikado. In Mikado. Uh, is it um, Joni? No. It's for, for Sam Show and a bunch of other Oh, okay, okay. 
But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look that up later and I'll uh, definitely add him on Twitter. Shiki. Yeah, man, hit us up. We definitely want to promote. Yeah, for sure. Yo, Darley versus Shiki. Okay, this this is a matchup that you see often in New York because uh, you know we got a pretty strong Darley player over there, and we got a, a ton of uh, Shiki. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all got some Shikis out. Yeah, we got like Eli, we got Lost Soul, we got um, Jacko RCB on Darley. So pretty uh, interesting matchup, I think. Now, for me on the West Coast, I almost Shiki never versus see Darley. this unless, like... I can only believe like, that Shiki okay. wins this. Those are literally the but only players in North They would have to be comp... I, I feel like Shiki players have to be completely content right, with just waiting it out. Uh, hey, man, the calm before the storm. I guess so. <laughs> I'm ready for some action. Yeah, I don't dude, know about but we know real life is not you know, like, been, the way is not always I so some concrete. Oh, me, no blood on the street, the reality is, I'm pretty sure this dog is going to get a JC or two. <laughs> it's going to fucking flip the whole match around in a second. Yeah, I thought they were pretty uh, tasteful about it. Yeah, but, uh, you know, whatever. You know, to each their own. Yep. Oh, I see another name coming up. <laughs> yeah, baby. Can't wait, dude. Can't wait. Yeah. I know some people back home that are going to be excited to watch this, too. Uh-huh. But right now, it's all about this. It's all about Hikaru versus Gamera. Yep. All right, already it's a pretty active pace. Uh, people moving around a lot, running at each other. Gamera. Yeah, that's the... Uh, Shiki has to do that because she's highly mobile. Yep. Meanwhile, Koihime uh, guy, I think. Dagger is just going to jump heavy. I think. Yep, jump all day. There it is. That's the neutral. Yep. What's up, Rick? Rick, Rick. Oh, no problem, man. Don't come at me. I'm swinging. Right, so it's My like Samurai Showdown videos, I made them to help people that are trying to learn. You know, if y'all trying to improve, yeah, I think both of them really like that's why I made them. On what the heck the other one's doing, so they're like, whatever, let's, let's think about something. Like, hey! I'm going to keep making them. I'm almost done making the basics tutorial. Oh, no. And I'm going to move on to character tutorials. I did a vote already, and it seems like people want a Haomaru and a Nakaru tutorial, so I'll do those first. But Hikaru kind of letting him out. Oh boy, a lot of You're waiting for Samurai Showdown 7 to come to place a to the personal, personal computer? Yeah, someone's got to do something big right now. I got bad news, man. Out. I have no this idea when that's just going to happen. Awesome. Ooh, I can't even remember how long it took KOF 14 to come on the PlayStation, hey, the PlayStation nice, on the PC. Punish. Gets a knockdown, but doesn't do much off of it. Uh, Red, a back roll, went for the uh, cross-up, but didn't, didn't actually back roll there. Well, you see Gamera just trying to play for that timer. I was like, whatever, dude. Nice. Oh! That was such a ballsy run forward grab from Gamera. Two seconds left. He's just gonna run away. Oh, that's a wrap. Yep. And very wisely doesn't do any damage to her um, to deny that rage. Oh, beater. That's right. Yeah, very smart from Gamera. Mm. This looks like his motherfucker's getting out pussy. With something to prove. I think Dolly struggles versus anyone with a reliable anti-air. Because yeah, at that, that point, all she's got left is yeah, has really lopsided pokes that do tons of damage. Okay, six, six, that are, but they're so slow. Just sweeps the leg. Oh, now he's trying to play the turtle game. But, but at the same time, his turtle style is going to be just jump back heavy. Yep. Oh, went for the cross up. Nobody home. Nice pursuit from uh, Gamera. Oh, oh, no. no. Damn, that was a bad idea. And that... It's and gonna be a tough position. He's just good just it up. He should have. There you go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry. He should have bursted. Maybe he should have uh, rage exploded. Uh, weapon flip then. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the second six six C that's hit, and that's the only. Yeah, he's done. He's done this round. All right, not dead. He's got to land raw. He's in or some shit. No. Let's do a mix up. Run heavy, man. Run heavy or run low or run overhead. <laughs> I don't know, man. Even if that would have hit, that wouldn't have been a lot of damage. I would have just held on to that for at least backing him into the corner. I mean, yeah, I agree. It's uh. Yeah, yeah. drink that it'd gamer like fuel. That. It'd be like that. You got to make those decisions sometimes, and uh, it just turned out to not be the right decision at that time. Yeah, dude. If if that had worked, he would have looked like a Mensa level genius. Oh yeah, because uh, what he would have, because I'm thinking what he was thinking is like the last time I backed you into a corner, you dashed it and grabbed me. Right. Oh, that's, try that now. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> the gamer zoom. Oh, run up DP. Had enough hand time that he could. Oh, just ate a raw five C. Uh, uh, catches him trying to move. Oh man, this guy's getting pieced get up. Yeah, he's getting kind of red on wake up a lot. Back to neutral. Yep, you know, sneaks it in there. And you see that Gamera just. If like, I remember correctly, this is the guy that was playing versus the Kyoshiro, yeah, and he was getting rocked. But the Kyoshiro like smoothed over for some reason. You better go for it. But now he's playing like. 
Big like big money time. That, that counter, that clock is counting down super fast, it seems like. Yeah, it does. 30 seconds left, and Hikaru does not have much life to play with here. Nice chase down, but uh, trades. Oh my take... god. Damn, he's out class. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can't take any trades when you're that low on life, so right. you really just gotta make everything count. I will applaud Hikaru's patience and not rage bursting, like the actual rage burst where yep. you're like frustrated and you just hit it because you're like, ah, I just want to stop taking damage for a moment. Yeah, dude, that's one thing I, I want to comment on is that. The dolly just can't. Remember I said earlier that, like, theoretically, if the Shiki just waits, then he'll just beat him out? I think that's what's happening here. Oh, okay. No DP that time. He's just kind of letting uh, Hikaru jump all over him right now, his camera. Yeah. Still with the life lead, too. So really, what Darley needs to do is you stop game. using the fucking throw and start using the command throw. To, like, lessen the risk of dying. Hasn't even had to hit the jump heavy all match yet. That's true. I yeah, you usually see Shiki just pumping that all the time. Mm -hmm. No, he's been playing very low committal, so... Uh... Oh wow! Oh, that might have been an input error. Jump A, uh, air to air. Just like, oh, oh, nice. Whoa, yeah, what a sweep. He noticed that Hikaru has been whiffing that 2B a lot. Yeah, I don't know what he's looking for there. Possibly trying to catch something nice. on extension? Yeah, I think so. Or uh, reading like a run forward throw or something. It's really hard to react to the um, cheeky run so fast. Oh! There's a jump heavy. Oh, had to do that. Didn't want to take any more. And oh, damn. No. <laughs> He was just outclassed. He just could not win on the ground. I mean, that's what I thought would happen, though. It's just, you know, Darley struggles versus characters that have reliable anti-air. Because then she can't just bulldog her way in. And then she has to play footsies, right? And most Darleys don't work on their footsies. They just get by with JC. I'm saying it's every Darley player, but I'm just saying majority of Darley players. So they don't pick Darley for just constantly be throwing it out. the footsies. <laughs> pick him for the JC. Knows that, so he's not like Thanks for the follow, Ryden. He knows that the other guy's going to respect that. Um, so I don't know. Seven, seven, uh, two, two. He got it to like to come up with like an approach, but he couldn't really figure it out. Anymore. Right. Even after a knockdown, he wasn't able to capitalize on his advantage yeah. there. And it, I, I know it's not like your standard fighting game where it's like you knock somebody down, you just have all day to set up shop on an opponent. Yeah. And Sam showed the opponent can wake up in three different ways. Yeah, you know, Oki's okay, just guess. not that strong. And like you said, because people have so many different uh, wake up. All right, moves, all right. Uh, if they're mixing it up, then it's hard to, to kind of. There's not much exposure. Oh, damn, like we got K2? You can be played in a, like, a. Pretty fast. It right. can be played in a, like a couple of different ways, so um, I want, I'm interested to see what Shadow Knight has. On yeah, Shadow Knight with the smart haircut, played a smart character. Mm -hmm. Cup noodle. All right. Oh yeah, shit, Ukiyo a mirror? It's going to appear slow, but it's actually going to go really fast, most likely. Once somebody gets knocked down. Shadow Knight versus K2. Oh, there it is. What I'll you got for him? 50, 50. Is it gonna this is just going to be decided by footsies. I know everyone's gonna. Th I know everyone probably yeah, thinks this is mostly the about the mix-up. This is mostly gonna be about the footsies. And there it is. Okay, that, look out yo, that, that that's spacing exactly. That's yeah. what I was about to say. That spacing, uh, it's basically like rock paper scissors. You know, like you just have to guess what they're about to do. So again, okay, didn't chase down the back rows. Let's it, let's it happen. Shadow Knight has an early lead against K2. Oh, that's a punishable opportunity right there. Yeah. 35 seconds left on the clock. Man, this that was a tournament? Crazy. I feel like we just started, right? I don't know. I'm watching it right now. Nice uh, confirm there from uh, K2. K2 still with some catching up to do. Uh-oh. It's just not done yet. Yeah, you notice K2 now mixing up the... Uh, wake Top up 8 is to in two hours. Knight ...from getting like three Oki mm -hmm. opportunities against them. K2 currently, despite the life deficit, is going to weigh his options. Uh oh. Yeah. You, you know why they too, both so. just not doing shit? Especially it's because oh, if you God. do the slide on Ukyo oh. as Ukyo, you have to guess on Tsubami Geist or a sweep immediately. Oh, like that kind of deal right there. You just saw some really big reads right now. Oh my goodness, that was another really big read. Three seconds left on the clock. He's got to let that one run out. I don't think he's going to get it. Oh my god. No How did that not even hit? Really I think that was because of the heavy Tsubami guy. She Tsubami guy. He expected her to jump. to jump backwards. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, no dice there from Shadow Knight. Very good uh, disciplined play from, from Shadow Knight. All right. Now, K2 
day two with the rage. That's not going to make a lot of difference. Uh, Ukio, not someone who really needs his rage. Very, that was a very unsafe thing that uh, Shadow Knight Oh, yeah, no. But, but very hard to block on reaction. Yeah, you see it a couple times and maybe you might get it. But Neither of them want to commit because well, they can just punish each other. Yeah. They're just trying to hang out and see who and the fuck again, is going to commit first. An early lead against this uh, K2, one of our storied Ukyo players. It's fucked too because once you lose a life lead, you fucked because now you have to keep making more and more risks to get back in and. Oh. oh, whoa, that was definitely a misinput on Tsubame. Yeah, when you see that jump imp come out, it's like, ah, oh, we hate that move. Yep. Oh, 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 he still clipped the block. It's hard to punish on with. It is, yeah. SNK, man. <gasps> oh, that's Block, but no punish for K2. This is your character, bro. You're cosplaying him. Getting a little shook. A little stirred up. Wow. I can't look apple. through Apple. <laughs> Take a bite of that. <laughs> seconds left. You gotta make something happen. And again, Shadow Knight alone. Just clearly the deficit huh? is K2, and he's just content to move her into the corner. And K2, getting oh my God. To do fucked. Something, he's gonna have the burst. Just okay, woke wow, up, Subami guys. Subame. You gotta, Three seconds. Oh, oh my God, God. catch them back. That uh, that's enough. Now he can just run. Yes. What are you doing? Oh. Ah, I can't believe that motherfucker did that. <laughs> What a, what a lord! Oh my goodness. So we got two rounds back to back. Going See, I'm glad you watched the tutorials I made, because now you understand what's happening. Oh, wow. Big oh, like less than a minute. Uh oh. Tsubame is oh, what's really up, Gunshot? They, uh, space it like that, though. So, uh, you have to have a move that just pushes forward really quickly. Yeah, man. And even then, you're not getting a lot of this week. All right, K2's starting to feel some damage. Right this He's just gonna chill. The fact that K2 <laughs> was able to win and keep his rage like is um, big. Now they're on equal footing. Early on, so I for sure thought K2's gonna burn that shit. Shadow Knight handles this situation. Yeah, now, yeah, now it's on Shadow Knight to actually pull together a, uh, a comeback here. Really nice. Oh! Nice slide. Sees K2 running forward. That's the, the Ukyo classic. And they, they may have an option. Uh -oh. this shit. They may not have much of a defensive option as well. Right. Damn. What, what the hell? You saw that? That 3D to catch yeah, the run? Yeah, I think he just stuck it out there and, and Shadow Knight slid into it. <laughs> oh, whoa. I thought he was going to fucking punish that shit with Issa. Yeah. Scared of something. Okay. Get the throw. Dude, you should have bursted. That rage damage is too much. Nice. 2A catches the uh, run. We're gonna let that rage run out. Still 22 seconds left on the clock. Not a lot of sweat running down Shadow Knight's God, face. And they're back. Fuck. Uh, who they're has back. the last thing right now? Okay. And now it's K2's turn to turn the tables. Yo, my man's tight. Three buttons. He's this like, is a good, this is a good match. I'm gonna oppress you. You blew that low too early, my brother. Oh, that's it. No, I think Shadow Knight even went for a dodge. I saw. I thought I saw the animation, but maybe they did it a little bit too early or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. This is cosplay is giving them power. Cow, that went right down to the wire. Everybody drink up the game of fuel. Uh, geez. So Usually, Shadow when you when a player anticipates the run up guard break, it's either dodge or jump, right? Yeah. yeah. So most likely, yeah, maybe Shadow Knight did go for the dodge, yeah. and they just got they got nothing. And then that happens sometimes. It does, yeah. Because your reactions are not quite possibly what you think they are. And, and, especially with Ukyo, you I'm really actually kind of zoned in attempts because his jump is so floaty. Oh yeah. And you don't want to be floating in the this air. Is very in the intense. Oh! <laughs> nice, goes right over the um, 3K. Wow. <laughs> in the corner, that's always going to be a problem. Yeah, man. It's like the kill backdash 2C. Oh, I love it. <laughs> kill Tsunagi, man. The terror. Oh, come on, man. You don't know how to punch oh, your own shit. Deflect, but, uh, what? Uh, what uh, the f so, so I fuck? So I think I just before where he's just like, I want to hold the momentum. Bro, that one, I will how does this first, keep happening? I'm stealing my thunder. All right. I mean, whatever. I don't think it's a good idea. In that situation, because he wasn't even... This is like the third down. round one burst I've seen. And now he's got nothing. But no, again, it has to be an accident. I swear they're jittery or something. Because this is no logical reason. Now he's definitely going to lose the fucking game. Now, Ukyo, not someone who absolutely lives and dies by his rage. So it's not the end I mean, of the match yet. You're right, but it's never something you ever want to just throw. No, for sure. It's so strong. Oh, you have to know your Luckily, I will say hold this. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I will say this. Luckily, Ukyo cannot combo into weapon flip outside of back throw in the th outside of back throw in the corner. So it's not like he's gonna get disarmed and then instant death, but he can eat an SSM and die. 
that low ass health. So it's not a good look. Down around doesn't have rage explosion still. Nice back dash to Bame. Good disrespectful run up throw. I can't let my fucking round one burst. I don't think I fought. I promise you, I don't know if he did it on purpose. It just doesn't make sense for him to do it on purpose. And he didn't do it last round like that. Most people that run one burst just do it out of not lack of knowledge. Even though KT gave up the rage, he's just like, yeah, I still got all these great buttons. He must have. I think he must have just slapped his hands out of. I swear he must have rage explosioned. Literally, like he must have smashed his fingers on the fucking stick and got it by accident. Which happens? I mean, it happens to me. I've done it before. And I think Shadow Knight was like, "Whatever, I'm dead. We got one more round." He was like, "Yeah, yeah, like, what you going You got me. Let's go into this next round. I got these." Know what that tells me? It tells me that Shadow Knight ain't entirely confident on their. How strong back that Tsubami guy is. Just play another round and close it out, right? I guess, but like momentum. What's momentum to an actual tangible thing? I mean, it's hey, that's how this game goes, though, man. Sometimes, yeah. Mindset is almost everything in this game. Yeah. Because you don't have, like, you know, guaranteed setups. You're like, hey, how am I feeling right now? Sure, sure. And Ooh, good slide. is feeling godlike. Yeah. And that was an interesting interaction. I didn't know you could uh, 2A to, to beat the slide uh, at Dukyo. So that's good good info in this uh, mirror match. Neither of them want to go in. You see? It's oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of made something out. Oh, my goodness. Damn. with the Tsubami. Not a good trade if you're Kaisu. And I think I was gonna say you saw that K2 was just like sticking out that 3K just in case uh, Shadow Knight wanted to see that. That's it. Find the mark. This is why you don't round one burst. Classic. Whenever you whiff a dodge, they always go for a throw right afterwards. Cause they're like, all right, you're not expecting it now, uh, dude. <laughs> he almost said motherfucker. Nobody knows. <laughs> he almost said motherfucker. <laughs> I, I, pro I, I promise you, he was going to say you weren't expecting it, motherfucker, but he stopped himself because he's, he's on Evo commentary. <laughs> oh, man. For sure, that's what he was going to say. You ain't going to dodge this now, motherfucker. <laughs> he was like, yo, you're not going to see this now, dude. I want to say... Shadow Knight's been in control more often than uh, K2 has. Definitely. Um, so this is actually uh, pretty interesting. I I wonder where Shadow Knight's from. So I want. I also wonder. Mindset is everything. If K2 was like whatever, I love the game. Yeah. Let's try to just. Tilt Come on, man! Just punish the jab or the sweep or something. <laughs> you know how to punish a character. I mean, I hope. Uh, it didn't work out for him. I mean, it, wait. That's the gamble. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> We're never gonna get anywhere by playing smart. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Nah, man. Right. It's Armika, baby. So K2 again has that was pretty good. good uh, close B into uh, flashes there. Oh, Subaru guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ukyo has some of this the most is tense. ridiculous options. We have the, the guy that who lives and breathes Ukyo versus some oh, guy I've never heard of, nice also playing K2. Ukyo equally. And K2 feeling himself. <laughs> Yeah, he's, how could you, you don't have to risk shit now. Now you can just kind of turn it out, uh, loan, and just loan. You can turn out Shadow Knight and just turn this shit into a W really easily. So slide with the back dash Tsubame. Yeah, you see, uh, yeah. When you have a life lead in this mirror, you really, you really, you really got a real life lead. Like, this motherfucker ain't gonna do shit. Go, uh, just doing them, right? Yeah. And then Shadow Knight just wasn't blocking them, so... Um, hey, shout out's good. Something for this round. Oh, don't run into that, please. Nice. Oh, that was so good. Bro, I try to tell uh, Cass that K2 was, was, was not the best Ukyo. So I mean, up instead. Uh, nice bonus on that whistle. Yep. I don't know. Wow. Yo, the fade away? We don't have much interplay between scenes. I feel like to tell who is the best at what. All right, round one, round one went to K2. Which means Shadow Knight right now has to take this out. <laughs> it's definitely not Sonic Soul. I uh, would be inclined to agree. Has a pretty sizable lead right now. I don't know who's the best so Ukyo like is. I feel like nobody's good. I feel like nobody is completely pushing Ukyo to their fullest potential yet. Little air reset into a throw. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, hits again. That's three for three. And then goes for the meaty. Uh, Damn, Kitsu got roasted that time, man. Good stuff. Final rounds. Shadow Knight going into this with a full rage beat meter. 
Ukyo stays raged for a very long time. Yeah. K2 on the verge of getting his. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh shit. Bad guess. <laughs> oh, nice dodge. All right. D. Shadow Knight at a oh small life lead. Rapidly diminishing. Now it's hard to tell who has the Yeah, lead. this is really interesting. This is such an even match. Oh, oh, my God. oh, he could SSM that. It. It's hard to react to SSM in a back that's dying online. That was so crazy. Uh oh. Yabare, 3K. This shit gets scary. Okay, this is adding up real fast. Nope. It doesn't help that Ukyo has low health, so he can't handle his own mix ups. Oh, baby. Yeah, I had to do that. the rage explosion. That was actually a really smart rage explosion there. I'll give it up for that. This is so close. Oh, it's going to be a big one if he gets it off. Such a big opportunity there for your Shadow Knight, but sometimes you're paralyzed when the other person's in rage explosion. Right? Like, did he really just do that? To yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay. So K2 doesn't have very much time to make something happen. 16 seconds left. No rage left. Is this... Oh no, punish there. Gonna have to go for some big risks, I think. Uh, he has Shadow Knight in the corner. This is a very tense situation for Shadow Knight. Uh, no lead. Oh, look at that. Okay, yeah. Force is. the rage explode. What's he gonna do with it? Buys K2 a lot of time because time freezes when the rage explode is active. Oh, God. oh, oh shit. God. And now it's one more mix up. Lead, forcing nope. Shadow Knight to make a play here. Oh, better to be careful. If Shadow Knight has time to block after a whip, that means they have a time. Yo, and the next, basically the next touch yeah. wins here. Holy cow. Doesn't matter. Okay, time Rage is gone. Time has begun to move again. Here we seconds, go. Seconds, yo. Hus is falling over the crowd again. Six D. Oh! oh! <laughs> are you kidding me? With the Tsubame, thought he was going to land on the ground That earlier. was so close. Oh my goodness. That was such a nail biter. <sighs> that shit was God. close as fuck. No, he just got away. Bro, he got away with murder <laughs> there. Holy cow. I want to say that Shadow Knight was... The better player. Not the better player necessarily, but more in control for more time. But um, K2 was going for a lot of crazy stuff, and get, he was, yeah. you know, taking a lot more risks, and they were working out for him. So, um, you know, he, he got away with the murder there, in my opinion. That shit was nuts. Um, uh, Shadow Knight, someone I honestly... Um, yeah, I want to see more of him. I, I have never heard of this person. Yeah, I've never seen this person play before, but that was impressive. Yeah. That was an impressive display. <laughs> that was... And if you could take K2 to the verge like that... <sighs> like, oh, that was close. God. Seriously. Keep an eye on that person. Seriously, yeah, that was a really intense set. Uh, very glad we got to call it. Uh, so yeah, we're Man, coming, we're I wasn't coming ready for that. I thought it was gonna be a wash. I thought I was like, hey, uh, we'll K2's gonna totally just wash his Okio, but that shit was yeah, that was shit was sponsored. down to the very last hit. On action here at Evo Japan 2020, and we just saw an absolute slobber knocker of an Ukio mirror. Yeah, seriously. So Shadow Knight uh, versus All right. K2, of course, probably the more well-known player. I think. The, definitely the more um, well-known player. Let's uh... yeah, certainly to me too. K2 beat me at Evo. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah. Um, but Shadow Knight put up a really good fight. It was like such a close set. I wanted, I wish we could have seen more from both those players. I, but, uh, I wish so, because I think that was loser side, right? So yeah, it was loser side. Shadow uh, Knight, well, I think also they go by loan or something like that. But um, uh, this match about to start up right now. People are already on Twitter. I thought I was at the fast forward, but this is right around the corner. Yeah. People are already saying I mean, something that got robbed. Kind of. <laughs> I, think, I think if it gets that close, it's literally a 50 50. Exactly, yeah. Uh, if, wow. if it's that close, then it could have been anybody's Man, game. Man, that know, was whoever, so close. Basically, the, the other person um, played a tiny bit better. Uh, just a tiny bit better. It was basically K2's. Uh, Yo, Wanfu? But up next, we have another household. Japanese Samurai Shodan player. Yeah, man. Score. Score on player one side on Halmaru is trusty Halmaru versus. Oh! oh. Getting and deflected it. right off the bat. Good stuff to score. 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 Bro, score is psychic, man. He's a, he's a perfect player. Everybody's insane this. Score. I saw the brackets. Right. And, um, um you know, spoiler. Wow. <laughs> this guy. Dude, he's is so doing good his at thing. Run forward throws. You're just not ready for them. Yeah, you're never gonna. Th you're never gonna be thinking about it. And Man. Katsuji has to be expected after getting SS SSM at a huge life deficit. Yeah. But he, he decided I want to hold on to my race. Yeah, you know, and that's pretty smart. Uh, we've been you see that 6D he keeps throwing out? He throws his ass out. 
That shit is really fucking fast to start up. I, yeah, I think this is the, um... I think this is the uh, same one food from before. But I don't feel like he uh, can keep up with uh, the score's pace. And we saw him go for it again. Score this time did not bite. Unlike his previous opponent. I forget it. I think it was, um... I forget his name. But... All right, that, that round was kind of a wash for uh, Katsuji, I want to say. Yeah. Now that things are even again, he gets to reset his offense. Yeah, basically. Little that little ass oh, wow, okay. oh, no, but attack is punishable. Oh, my God. Yeah, you have to burst, bro. Yeah. Smart usage of the burst. He's fucked. And there it is. Dude, how... <laughs> this guy lands every single run-up throw. It's insane. Oh, oh good spike. Factor, man. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Wanfu has a lot of really strong options to get his weapon back after he's disarmed. Oh, yeah, you know? He's still got that rage explosion t uh, ticking downwards. How's he gonna use the question? He's gonna use the backup. Uh, no. Oh! <laughs> the tail caught him. Dude, that shit hurt like crazy, too. Oh my god. That is messed up. Kill him! No! I was, I was just saying he lands every run up throw, but this time he did it a tad too early and he was barely out of range. Oh man, a little bit of old miscalculations on Score's part. Yeah. So you notice, dude, every time oh, Score runs forward, you like want to do something, and that opens you up to the 6 6 B like he's always doing. You know, at this point, if he has rage, I'd rather just. That his JD is insane, by the way. It's yeah, active forever. No, but that's the thing though. If you jump and he has rage, he's just gonna WFT you because he's got those reactions. So he might just do that instead. Yeah, it's like a rock. Oh, that hurt. Uh, how the saying goes, I think. Triple threat. There ain't much he can do here except for oh, dodge us. Oh um, what the hell? Damn. Oh, I, I guess he tried swinging and he got caught from behind because he extended his hurtbox. Yeah, man. That doesn't even have a hurt box. <laughs> this is kind of one-sided. Individual. He's got a large posterior. Too much of the donk a donk. Yeah, man. Dragging a wagon. <laughs> Dragging a wagon. <laughs> no, he switched to the Jube. That's the big boy, though. All right. But you want to play neutral, huh? Jube, huh? You want to play wild, huh? Yeah, I'm so slow I guess you down. Jube's so damn good. I've always thought about switching to Jube off of Town Town. I think about it a lot. So I mean, a lot. Between, like we were mentioning before, the 6XB, the throw. Or just wait, and then if you jump, he'll like WFT or whatever. I feel like I'm so I feel like I'm so set in my ways with Tam Tam. I don't know if I want to make the switch. Score exactly, yeah. Like I could, I think I can play Tam Tam well enough that I can just get better at bad matchups and carry myself that way. Instead of switching to a whole new other character to compensate for bad matchups. Yeah, man. We'll see if it happens in round two or, or round one again. Better be careful, man. Nice I'm gonna like press a button against this guy sometimes. Yeah, uh, Katsuji, uh, of course, very uh, familiar with Jubei. I remember now he was a uh, Jubei player at the start of the game back during Evo. I looked him up before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, no stranger to the character, of course. Nice 6 d challenging the run forward from shore. Oh, Tia! Yeah, now that's cheap. That is the cheapest yeah. shit to be oh, about Jubei almost. That? Ooh. A safe Ooh. overhead that's, that's like not even. It's like. It <laughs> puts you in the perfect spacing for people who can't retaliate. Yeah. And it knocks down. There it is. Yeah, like we were saying, the 5B to, to interrupt the run. Oh! oh no, no, that's not gonna work. Oh! He caught the, he caught the fucking word. back dash. So that is it absolutely the crazy. The invulnerable frames were... I don't even know what the hell happened. Recoil, the, recoil. The recoil, yeah. Yeah, he, he recoil canceled. Oh, he just shot. fucking he woke up! BP, beats the overhead attack. Kachi has a life lead. What the heck? Does the meaty WFT to chip him out. Score went for the DP for the invincibility, but it was not enough to get him so out of it. actually do enough chip damage, though? It, I don't think it would have, but um, it would have kept. It would have put him in a pretty advantageous situation right there. <laughs> If it was me, I'd have, I'd have parried the shit out of that. Nice. You see him just run forward and then I'd have been like, pop, 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 pop. Wow, the cross under. What the heck? Whoa, wow, is that, that real? So tricky. He chose Score is like all over the damn place. Watching him is insane. He is literally just. It almost like he's. It's almost like I'm watching King of Fighters. Yeah, basically. He's just hopping around and throwing and shit. to fight his way out, and he does. My man, Score out here reinventing the wheel. Yeah, man. Oh, just lets Halmaru jump all over him. Because he might be a little oh, shook right oh, now. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. The jump heavy dunks on his head. Uh, so what happened when we saw there was Katsuji was looking real comfortable in the first round. Yeah, and score has made him extremely uncomfortable to the point where he's just going for command over him. You got to burst, he's dog. Completely. He's like just bulldogging right now. And now he forced out the early rage explosion from Katsuji. Score, I'm sure, is feeling really good right now. Oh, yeah, because he was like, oh, he dropped his weapon. You ain't getting it back. 
nice wow. from Score. He's placing them correctly every Gosh, single time. Nice trade for Score. One, uh, jump heavy. Chorus is playing so fucking good. And he didn't go for the SSM to seal it. He, no, he wants, wants to, to play with his food. He wants him to suffer. Actually, he, okay, so... Uh, let me, well, one second. So... The reason why... He didn't SSM there. Watch this shit. This is like a, a this is a, um, a, a learning time. Watch this shit. Nice trade for score. Okay, you see him throw jab? Uh, jump heavy. Okay, so jab. Deflect on deflect the um the window is much smaller and I guess he re he noticed that this guy was throwing jab so when he deflected he just said fuck it and he was gonna he was gonna do run me and DP you you can technically dash SSM but from this distance with how Maru since this is not a running SSM you have to be really fucking perfect to make it work and I guess he didn't want to do it because he fucked it up. And he blocked it, he would SS him back and he would lose. That's why he didn't do an SSM right there. But yeah. Oh my god! And he didn't go for the SSM to seal it. He, no, he wants to suffer. play with his food. He wants him to suffer. Nice jump A. Uh, perfect button from Katsuki. Staying alive. Oh god, Barely. So he wants it so bad. Yeah, man. Oh, oh no. Man, That's it. Shush. Good stuff from Score. And Score beats Steph. Pretty Steph's. damn good right now. I would be too. Got to do, of course, a very strong player. You wouldn't think it from how. Uh, yeah, that's that's why he didn't SSM there. Oh my goodness. No, yeah, Katsuji's just that good. Last good. Step, but that's just how. Yeah, that's how strong Score, score is. is just that good. He is the perfect player, dude. And like I said, it's just crazy that he didn't make a splash at Evo 2019. I, I, I'm almost beginning to wonder if he was even in the brackets for it. Maybe it was just too early. Maybe it was just too early. Yeah, yeah. You What's know, up, Ball 26, y'all? Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, types of players. Glad y'all made it to Friday. I'm happy I made it to Friday. We only got a couple hours left for till top eight, so we'll just finish this shit. And, and now back home in Japan, mm -hmm. Like, yeah, he's, he's definitely making a making a statement here in winners top eight or not top eight. Excuse me, uh, winners whatever. Appreciate all my followers yeah. tuning yeah. in too. That's pretty dope. I normally don't have all the people show up at once, but it seems like all y'all show up today. So we're in top eight. He yeah, he ran is, all the way to top eight, top eight with the greatest of ease. Yep, like it was basically like nothing to him. So uh, up oh, next we got Gamera. Fucking infiltration. Dude, I learned last night. I was like, dude, I can't jump over that DP. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, All right, let's watch the infiltration. Defensive, uh, shiki player in Korea. I forget, I forget their name. I'm so bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure he's prepared for this match. Yeah. And I, uh, I want to say that that shiki player played in a similar manner as yeah, Gamera. He did. He Very did. chaste. Oh, Gam Gamera. Oh, the yeah. shiki. Looks like they're finally getting into this it. This guy's climbing fast. Uh, we will see who infiltration has chosen in just a few moments here. Yeah, I know I heard the noise. I was like, wait, who did he pick? I don't know, man. Sounded like a really. Oh, He's oh my goodness! Earthquake. I see the earthquake. Control. Before. Who the fuck are playing earthquake? What does earthquake have on this pretty lady? Hey, I guess we'll see. I'm sure he picked this character for a reason. I'm so curious to see. Oh okay. yeah. So far, yeah. Look at that. He's just making a wall with those normals. He's yeah, very good a... at playing evasively. I will say this. Oh. Shiki. Wow. Due to her jump height, cannot jump on Earthquake ever. Like, so long as he's not stuck in the middle of an attack, she cannot jump Earthquake because he can do JB and he'll catch her every time. So the what she has to do is try to run, use the speed to get into the dead zones. Because his dead zones on his JC and his uh, JB, it's just really, you have to get up in there. Yeah, this guy get pieced up like crazy. Infiltration putting on a clinic right now. Oh my goodness, the disrespectful run forward throw. Finally slows things down to not Holy get baited by that recoil. Yeah, man. Uh -oh. This is... That there was a guard break coming up right there. He was right in front of him. Oh, good oh, nice. JC. Jump C. We, we didn't so see now, okay, here's the problem with Earthquake, right? 
Now, since he's behind, he now has to throw himself at you. For the reason why is that if you're doing that jump heavy, she's gonna want to throw it right back to him. Right. But it only works once she's like, once she gets close enough to do it. Yeah, and it pushes back kind of far too. So yeah. You actually might lose your. If I were, if I were, um, close enough to do that stuff, infiltration, like I would just walk her down. Gauntlet, man. Yeah, against this infiltration earthquake too. I'm like, telling you, man, this is like Mario. Mountain and Earth. try to not jump around so much. <laughs> Mario Maker. <laughs> Dude, that, that, that chain is everywhere. Bro, yeah, platforming. <laughs> oh, it's got him in the vortex. Wow. Out those I'm surprised he's not JB. He should. The fact that he's not JB is kind of like weird. Because JB does way more dumb damage to JC if you're trying to beat someone in the air. So uh, he might be just trying to cheese, and he don't know this character as well as he think he does. Yes, he is. Knock you out of the air. <laughs> I actually love Earthquake. I really want to play Earthquake more. That's the thing with Earthquake. It's really hard to open people up with this character. His game plan is to get the life lead, pester you with like those small damage normals, and just uh, force you to take damage on your way in. Well, it's um, working out. Yeah, and like, uh, well, not that round. Uh, I mean, well, it was working out. It was so working out round one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, he's off to an early life lead. We'll see what he does with it. All right, a lot of a lot of tension in this match already. Nice jump B. Oh, oh wow, okay. Really good 6 8 Gets him into the corner. Has to keep him there. It's all about containment against Earthquake. Really? Oh, Whoa. Intel gets out. I wonder if he was hoping that would go behind him. He, yeah, he might have been. No, he the reason why he does that is it's a frame kill. He does the sweep into the teleport. And if he times it just right, he can do another meaty. And it'll follow him wherever he goes. But he mistimed it, so he got nothing. Oh my goodness, this is so frustrating. Really? Look at this, he's so evasive. Run away, Earthquake. This there you go. He's like running away like this. Oh my god. Just trying to slow things down with that. That rate burst. Is he gonna burst? No! You really? Interesting. He was waiting for the super flash. You gotta do it now. Make him, make him burst. God damn! Go for it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what? Oh, going on? <laughs> oh man, he just kept slapping him on them jabs. Characters with good jabs in 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 rage explosion are top tier to me sometimes. Because characters like Tam Tam, Charlotte, and Earthquake can just keep pestering you with jab, and you just have to guess if you want that E in. Sticking to them. Um, and not panicking. Mm -hmm. Signs of a champion, man. He wanted to make that jump yeah. and just be like, okay, he needs it. I was going to say that Infiltration might be just playing too fast yeah. for Gamera. But That's actually punishable as fuck. <laughs> those, two, those 3Ds are very punishable. Yeah, no, Gamera has proven, of course, that he is no slouch himself uh this far you know so <laughs> <laughs> i love this guy yeah, man just, it looks like this matchup is just very uh very odd for she it's really hard to, get, to make your way around those uh those normals yeah yeah he never uses jab as the fat roll oh that was definitely a that was definitely an input error he wanted another chain but he held down c by accident they go for the overhead do it once so they throw that ass oh, okay wow well, he so never throws the ass he just goes for the the universal yeah, overhead but the ass throw puts him back on the ground okay right yeah. this guy is a meme everything he does is a fucking don't get is a very portable thing you don't you don't lose if you uh jump if you're Gamera, oh, <gasps> oh, he's lucky as shit. That shit's fucking cross ups. Damn. Damn, that's cheap. Fucking JC. Uh, he could have gotten scooped right out of the air if he hadn't had that ridiculous cross up jumping. That, that uh, weapon flip pushed Earthquake forward enough to where the cross up on that jump H was actually going to hit. Yep, yep. Because if he hadn't done that and waited a little bit, he probably could have went running. <laughs> well, oh, nice reaction. Good yeah, chase down there from Gamera. Oh, oh, is that gonna trade work? into it? No. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, 
Yeah, that's what happens. And that is going to be the round. Get your face sat on. He's fucking dead. Yeah, his SSM hurts more than all the other SSMs in the game, if I remember correctly. I mean, that's... Some people pay a lot of money for that. The only problem is that he can't dash SSM in a lot of situations because he's so fucking fat. Right, that he does not want to be in this corner versus this fucking character. Okay, he's it's not so bad now. It's all up to you, baby. And you know what though, Kamara has his in corner right now. This is a really uh, optimal spot. I guess somebody knocking on the door. The pizza man's here. Just so you would feel comfortable. Look, he just put himself back there. Come at me, man. Nice block of overhead. That could have been a bigger punish. I think he just wasn't sure that he was gonna get the punish there. He does the same as Yasha and Gendro? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just matchup unfamiliarity is the thing. Most likely. He's gotten blown up for a couple things that he just wasn't expecting. Well, yeah, I'll, yeah like, she keep, I didn't see what you said earlier, Dragon Spence, but yeah, she should be running in when he jump, when he jumps back and then DPing. Or just walk for DP. He's just not doing a very good job of getting into the dead zone. He's trying to jump in. You can't really jump in in this match. It's the easiest way for uh, Earthquake to get a life lead. Yeah, he's just kind of. I like this though. He's not taking any risks. Man, he doesn't know you can punish the shit out of that. Uh, life deficit back. Uh, not the type of character that's uh, very explosive like that. Yeah. No, but again, I, I think he just doesn't want to take any risks right now. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, that was a crouching hit too, so he got the extra hits done. Yeah, force the rage explosion out of infiltration. Going, going low, this is low, actually low, very winnable. Careful, that's a lot of rage left. Oh my god. He'll survive it easily. so here. dangerous, dude. Oh my god. He's going low. Mad time, dude. Oh, he went for the run up throw again. He went for the run up throw, but Gamera Dude, do the overhead, man. Throw that ass. Oh. Alright, Gamera right now with everything working for him. Four more seconds on the clock. The infiltration is not going to be able to do enough damage yeah, to make up the difference. It's going to go down to that. Gamera taking game two. <laughs> Oh man, that boy's sweating. He's sweating all the time. <laughs> yeah, man, using the timer against the earthquake, a very, uh, very smart way to play this matchup. Yeah, mobility is not that high, despite how much. I guess since um, just, I think that's all infiltration. Yeah, no, just offensive options for earthquake are just very, very limited. Oh, and, uh, we are going into oh, character select. Oh my goodness, who is it gonna on one hundred percent damage characters? Oh, Yasha, Gendro, and Earthquake, seven hundred, seven hundred eighty-four. He's not gonna pick Kyoshiro this time either. I guess it's the um dang tragedy. The SSMs that don't run, I guess do more. Or is he? He's thinking, yeah, okay, yeah, he no just way, gives no himself way. a nod. No way he's going for Kyoshiro again. Because all those make the classification of not running. <laughs> Alrighty. I have a list of them? That's pretty good. I'm glad you have the list. I actually have, I know different SSMs did different damage, but I never noticed that all the ones that are stationary did more. Yeah, I mean, the story of the matchup is, of course, all about that early life lead for infiltration. We'll see if he can get it. Gamera has proven himself very capable of adjusting. Fighting who is currently... A dog is acting fucking acting up right now. I mean, yeah, if that's, if you count Evo as being like... dog? The end all, yeah. Mm. Oh, wow, he went, he, what you want? he went for a big lead there. Jump forward, uh, heavy. Let's go chill. It's just the pizza. It's just the pizza guy. All right. All right. Now we're seeing Gamera getting hit by those uh, far-reaching jump heavies. Yeah, man. Once once you get once you lose the life advantage, um, you have to like open yourself up to a lot of stuff like that uh, by moving forward. And Infiltration knows this. He's gonna exploit it at every chance that he gets. Gamera is proving that he is patient enough to. I'm surprised he switch characters. I guess he figured he could cheese him. Interesting. So I think he's just using it to uh, get up close for to threaten a mix-up. Uh, that the whip, uh, like tell us. Oh, yeah. Then like if Gamera hasn't reacted in time to it, he could end up waking up. See, every time he jumps preemptively, exactly. he's just opened himself up for like random damage. If he just were more patient, then he could just wait for Gamera to jump and then JB. Bro, listen to the stops on the uh, on the ship's deck. Dude. I know, right? <laughs> he's just like, oh wow, yo, the life. The life totals are really close now. I know. It, it, it happens like that. Five seconds left on the clock. Gamera might steal it again. Oh, my God. Oh, get the he did Infiltration it. round one bursted? You hit him with the skip fails. It's my turn. <laughs> Infiltration, I hope you fucking lose. Oh, my lose. goodness. Three seconds left. But that clock is, of course, frozen because of the rage explosion. Oh, no grab. He's oh, my God. He's right over it. it. 
All right, but if you're Gamera, you, you awesome. might, might not I'm even I'm guard be... breaking all day, baby. Hell yeah. I'm guard breaking all day right Bro, now. Bro, you might not even be feeling that bad if you're him because he just... Yeah, a best of three still, um, so... It could be it after that. It's gonna, it could be the end if uh, Infiltration wins this round. Oh, empty jump low? Oh, thanks, man. We do those? No, you don't do that in this game. That care package. <laughs> Funny damage. Was that all that risk? Worth I got one it? nugget I and a uh, slice of pizza from Bates. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, he should command oh, throw. Um... Goes low again. Yeah. Yo, another Infiltration that command throw Shiki's Box 6K. You are right. As a matter of fact, Infiltration should have done a lot of shit. Oh my god. Overhead again. He's gonna start calling out those back dashes. That's all he's got. He's not gonna be able to get in on that gauntlet, man. Uh huh. It's an absolute obstacle. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, that's the there. first command throw. Rolling his R's. Oh, there it is, the DP. Good stuff, Gamera. Uh, proving that he, again, he does have reactions. Using 6 6 a It's gonna take a big read. It's gonna take a big read. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. He actually might have to burst because he's so far behind. Yeah, man. I mean, he's got 10 seconds, but it's not quite enough time. Yeah. Oh, damn. He just threw the shit away. Infiltration, why would you not just chill, man? Infiltration got caught in a cycle of jumping. Yeah, man. Did not even notice the rage explosion. Kind of autopiloting. Yeah, getting really too comfortable. But again, now that that option is off the table, he's, just, he's not scared of anything, man. And now they're both just going to get guard broken. Yep. What this means is if Infiltration parries Camara nope, once with less than a quarter of her life left, she's dead. Or he's now dead. We are playing, like, quite literally the most honest game of <laughs> I don't know about that. You see that button? That yeah, is not honest, not bro. Honest at all, huh? Hell no. <laughs> Oh, oh no, that, that was such a big whip punish opportunity, but he doesn't get much damage out of it. It's just SSM that, right? Dude, he could have. Yeah. Especially a Shiki. Ooh. Well, it depends on the version that he used, so it's possible he didn't want to take all that risk. But yeah, uh, he's got a life lead. Does Gamera. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh man, had he parried that whiff? Oh. You see Gamera getting a little frisky here. Doesn't want to eat any more up Or deflected, numbers. rather. Oh, nice snipe. Air to air from infiltration. I think, yeah, that's it. Gamera's got this. That's it. That's it. Gamera got this. Because now there's no reason for Gamera to risk anything. And now Infiltration has to throw himself at him. Gamera about to take it over the Evo Champion. Ten seconds left on the clock. Yeah, this shit's over. It's over. Get fucked, Infiltration. The stupid ass shit around one bursting. There's no way, bro. Uh uh, no meter left. He's got to make the biggest read of his life. And yeah, he went run. for it. You're done. That was his only play. Gamera knew it. Gamera. To Gamera. Look, that boy is sweaty as fuck. Holy <laughs> crap. That was so. That was frustrating to watch, dude. I can't imagine playing against that. That was ridiculous, dude. Oh my god. So good stuff to Gamera taking it over infiltration. We haven't seen the last of infiltration yet. He could make it back in losing. Could make it back in here. And I just want to say that while he did win Evo 2019, that is the gravity of the competition here today you yeah, know dude. people are not taking the infiltration lost that because he, he just is played poorly so good oh my god crazy gamera and top eight winners side it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a good saturday yeah i feel like oh dude so i cannot wait Ooh. i cannot wait no we're not even half gamera though played center. really well holy cow you're right dude uh, you only, you only have a Gamera, water. I'm telling you, right? even though he didn't play optimally, <laughs> he played with a sound strategy to force infiltration uh, out of the character. Like he exploited the weakness there. of uh, Earthquake, which is what matters. I'm not familiar with either of these players. He didn't punish him for everything, but exploiting the weakness is important. I think he was at uh, KOFS 2019. Okay. What time is the final for Samurai Showdown? Not so much. Number in uh, an hour and 30 minutes. KR1's Abao. 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 Known uh, at least recently mostly for o KOF. O was it 0-2? Is he an 0-2 player? Or is he, he 14? Player. He also plays 14. He got second place at the... Funny thing, Shiki has lowest SSM uh, damage. That oh, is wow. good. Oh, yeah, look up Tam Tam's good. SSM damage. I always felt like his SSM does a fuckload. He's been doing really well there. And I can't tell if it's just me uh, really, uh, or if it's tr or if it's, he actually does a lot of damage. So I, I know, I know they're two different games, but 
I always remember Abal's performance in KO 14 last year mm -hmm. at the side tournament. That he got so close to just to winning that. Look at your link. And it was very emotional for him when he couldn't clutch it out. Yeah. So that was uh that that's always something that sticks out in my mind. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, good fighting game players are you hey, know Jared, able man. to switch from game to game to game to game because fundamentals you know those oh, sure. those don't go away, dude. Totally, man. Uh, yeah, it looks like we got Mjima versus Fair coming up. I see a Shizumaru. Oh, please let this be real. Please don't oh, let no, this be a button check. Button checks, All right, let's oh, see. Oh, dude, I want to see this. <laughs> Definitely button checks. I want to see it. 100% button checks. I'm calling it right now. Okay. I mean, the Shizumaru is probably real. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. The Shizumaru is probably real. I mean, real. bro, I'm, I'm sick of seeing that little, that little <laughs> uh, demon boy. Please let this be real, man. One healthy sword boy. Damn, Tam Tams does not do extra. It does less. Definitely button checks. What is this shit, man? Yeah, I mean, I'm, not uh, saying that she, I'm not saying that he won't do it. And he don't get counter hit either, so. Entirely possible. Uh, yeah, Fuck, man. I don't, I don't even think she's that bad, honestly. Really? I don't think she's that terrible. Eh. I don't think she's a tournament character. I, I, like, I, I'm not I'm not paying money, I'm not traveling, and then picking Rimuru. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, and of course, my man's went straight to Shizumaru. <laughs> he was like, get this Rimuru garbage out of my face. Like, this stuff only works online. Word. Yeah, because um, they take higher right, percentage of damage. Mirror. Get used to seeing those, dude. Yeah, we're getting close to Actually, despite the fact that we're pretty close to top eight already. You're playing Basara, Rimu, Nakaruru, Shiki, and all those slow-ass characters? Yeah, yeah. Low ass uh, health bars? Yeah, I mean, as we get closer and closer to this top eight, we're gonna probably see. You are fucked if you get caught with SSM at any point yep, past the uh, twenty percent mark. We're still get on the loser's side yeah. and run through that with the season mark. Yeah, dude. Oh, he tried to DP to that shit. Ball, but uh, not quite close enough to uh, hit with the with the DP. That was an interesting interaction. Yeah, that was almost very smart from Enjima. I think Fair was like, "Wow, what the heck?" Yeah. So I feel like we've reached the point of the tournament <laughs> where we're going to see a lot of season Mauro mirrors. DG Man 47. What time is the time? What time is Sam Show Finals? It's 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or one hour and 30 minutes from now. So it's about at the 28 second mark. Neither one of them wants to overextend. Whenever you see people with the A like that uh, in neutral, they're probably switching buttons. You know what I mean? Right, just like buffering it. Yeah, or not yeah. buffering, or rather covering it. Yeah, switching buffer, uh, switching buttons for the uh, turnaround punch hold. The crazy downpour is called in English. Not quite enough to kill yet, but still looking real good is Mjima. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's just that cheap. That doesn't do very much damage when, when you out of the air like that, but uh, when so little health, all you have to do so enough to do the trick. With that move, when they have low health, it's jump back, and then if it hits, the chips out, and if you jump after them, he hits them. As if he needed more tools. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's a very blessed boy. Well, I gave you a retweet, uh, Lex, just in case. You know, I know you put work in those SSM's um, numbers, so I was like, fuck it, retweet. That's true, yeah. It's a hard read, more or less. Shizumaru also has a very finicky DP. Uh, but both these players, of course, know their character in and out, I'm sure. So. Mm. Nice jump back A. Fair has been um, air to airing very well. Yep, and he's oh, wait, no, sorry. That was MG mode. And uh, both of them have been holding on to the tap for the entirety of this match. It's true. Which means one of them's got to let it go in, in favor of Rage exploding soon. Mm hmm. So yeah, if you're um if you're fair, you gotta really watch out for the taps right now because yeah. if you get hit by one, um you you just lose. You cannot rage explode after you get hit. Oh by my one. god! <laughs> that's what we were just talking about. Yeah. But that's that also cheap. Anybody. You know if they really want to nerf uh she's a Maru, oh, no they can make it so you can rage explosion tap and then. Yeah, that's you know. the nature of this game and this character. He's a very explosive character. He won't have to be sentenced to death. One read. And that, uh, of course, turnaround punch is very um, punishable on block. Oh, yeah, the pogo? Nice. I've seen people get stuck in the pogo loop where it's like they actually can't stop pogo. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I still can't decide if Samurai, when Samurai Showdown comes to Switch PC, I want to main she's a Maru or Cow or Pro yeah, Boy. Very, very strong anti air button. Mm, from, uh, oh, they're, all, they're both good. Them up to the turnaround punch, doing all that Honestly, damage. um. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. 
So he expected him to land, but didn't uh, want a raid explosion, huh? Intelligently floated to uh, to mess with his jump. Uh, but um, oh, right, yeah. yeah, and uh, they uh, both kind of like up hugging nothing. They're uh, both uh, aggravating for the same like reason, where they can just change their jump arcs yeah, constantly, so making it very up. difficult to keep yeah, them off the he, keep them out of the air. Hopefully, he can make some adjustments because I want to see. I do. I, I actually like seeing Smear. I like seeing Shizumaro players having to deal with themselves because they they deserve to suffer, dude. Or it was like they deserve to suffer. Yeah, you're right. It's actually a pretty active game. Oh my goodness. Damn, that shit hurts. Oh man, Fair not looking uh very good. Yeah, dude, that was the deepest of jump. Oh god, is that gonna catch? No, no, no. Nah, no too way. slow, too slow. Yeah. Inside the gin. That second hit, well basically the first and second hit of the crouch H for Shizumaru art is cancelable. That's right. And it's uh the only way for him to uh combo into the turnaround punch. Mm -hmm. Nice. Float into B, jump B, takes it for Mjimon. Now he's threatening match point over Fair. Yep. Fair with all his resources none left. Probably has left. Yikes. F5C. Start standing heavy. Good that, stuff. That's definitely something where it's like, I know that you are getting This character is probably going to get nerfed. I just don't know how they're going to do it. Maybe they can make the um, umbrella float down quicker. I don't know. I'm unsure. Just like, it's a it mystery to me. I just hope they don't gut him like they did Gendro. I want Gendro to be kind of like closer to the way he was before. He needs his overhead back and his card to be good. He didn't even have to take away all that shit. Oh, it's a punish. He went for it. No dice. Fair gets a nice punish with that 6-6-B. Six, six, He's still going to charge, too. He's going to be like, you know what? I'm going to hold for the, the third round, yep. which I'm pretty sure I'm going to get. Yeah, that's that's a very intelligent decision because he's got such a life lead. Uh, very small danger of uh, losing this one. But it is... Oh, oh no! How it starts. 19 seconds. Can he take a couple more of those, I think? Yeah. And that would actually eat some time on the clock, too. It certainly would. 12 seconds left. Getting hit by that. That's fine. That's fine. No, no, oh, not, sh oh my goodness. That's not good. That, okay, the jump. Okay. See, the fadeaway. All right. Am I the only one who thinks Shizu is fair? I would be inclined to believe that you are the only one who thinks Shizu is fair. Oh, wow. Man, yo, that float is so cheap. I hate it. <laughs> So hard to, to predict where he's about to be. Just being able to catch. There's just too much shit on this character that's like ridiculous. Like the mix-ups are really good. The pokes are really good. He's got like a SS, a third, a second SSM. He's got a good weapon flip. He's got good cancelable buttons. He's, he's got the only low in the game that's cancelable on hit, other than like. Uh, I guess Gendro's is too, but it's like a light kick. Oh wow, gets the instant overhead. Actually, his SSM is one of the is probably one of the best in the game. If Shizu's didn't exist, this would be the best. Oh my god, right Jesus Christ, that almost killed his ass. Oh my fucking god. Are you kidding me? What? Bro! Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Thank the Lord. Thanks all you are. Got his ass. Caught with the jump A. Good, uh, good control from Mjima. Holy cow. Chris. I speed myself <laughs> That is so that fucking much crazy, damage, crazy man. Round. I need some eye drops. <laughs> this character is ridiculous. I hate, I hate it. I hate what he's doing to my voice. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I want to be hyped for tap, but I'm not. I don't get hyped for tap oh no more. I, all, <laughs> the damage is, like, high, but come on. That was absolutely one of those situations where he was like, okay, you hit me with your crazy downpour, <sighs> but your one mistake was you didn't kill me. Exactly. Oh, my God. All he did all he did was this. He did this. He's he let go of the button, and then he just did all that damage right Ooh. back to him. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. What that a character. Amazing amazing set. And that was the only winners. We're going to see Fair come back, possibly, to the loser's side. Whoever has to deal with that after this, uh -huh. I don't envy them. Yeah, man. Jeez. That yeah. man is furious. Dude, both those Shizumaru players, like, <laughs> I would hate running into them. Wild. You just need to know Taps be in charge. Don't press yeah. buttons on the ground. Another chance. You guys might see some more crazy down. Forever. For was. the entire match. Um, very crazy it, indeed. Yeah. I guarantee it, man. Yeah, man. Uh, but up next, though, we've got uh, 7144's Hisho from Japan. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, the KR1's Abao. Yeah. Uh, I all, all I'm going to say about the Tap players. Uh, known in the 
is that uh, Kill Shiro's frog is SSM punishable in every scenario that is possible. And that shit does not do that much. And it's slow as fuck. And it's not invincible to anything other than fucking projectiles. And yet, Tap pushes him far enough away to not have to worry about a lot of the SSMs in the game. Is not SSM punishable all the time. And it does as much as an SSM. And it's invincible. And you just let a button go so you can react to anything. Very strong. That's all I gotta say about that shit. To, to get some games in with the, with that I'm not game. saying tap shouldn't be fucking cheap. I just think tap should be punishable as fuck. Like everything else in the game that is that strong. Like instead of sending him, it should be you should be able to burst it, and he shouldn't put you half a screen away. You know, if you tap with Shizumaru, he should just pop up in the air. And land next to him. <laughs> yeah, right that way, yeah, characters yeah, that don't have SSMs yeah. that run at you or whatever uh, should be able to SSM punish your ass. Man, yeah, the, the, the Sam Show pulls over there. It still looks super crowded uh, from over here. I can't see that well. But Yo, I'm uh, digging that Metal Slug hoodie, actually. Yeah, dude. I want. I... Right, let's see this next match. Is he show gonna run the Hammer or he's not even touching the stick? We shall see. Oh my god! No! What are, you, what are the chances Pocus of that? picks never fail. <sighs> oh my god. Who was that person you know, that was like... I was only agreeing with you to entertain... Who was the guy <laughs> in the chat that was like, I think she's a mom is pretty fair. Oh, Here we are. Oh, he's taking off the hoodie too. He's like, oh, boy, I gotta oh, get comfortable for this mirror. Yeah, dude. We're gonna be here for a while. Bro, they're gonna be holding on to that button for their deal lives. Dude, it's like, if it's like SP where you just, I'm charging it right this now. This kind of almost gives me the, the vibes of Gendro yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, right. Yo, dude, when the game guy came out. Can you imagine if they did that in this game? That'd be hilarious. Oh my god. I told, I was like, dude, just let it happen. Yeah, dude. Like, how, how bad could it be? Add the, the start button glitch too, hell. Oh, uh, I feel like she's a mall is worse than Gendro. Because I mean, at least Gendro followed the, like, he was, e you could e send him and shit, but she's a is always in the fucking air, so it's really hard to e send or weapon flip his ass. TV, TV the man? You agree with that? You agreed with that guy? You're lucky I'm a fucking generous person. I'll allow even bad opinions in the chat. Right yeah, yeah. They're totally comfortable not getting hit right now. Uh huh. Nice instant overhead. Uh, he shows showing that he's got those. Mm -hmm. And has to catch up to himself. Oh my god, I can't believe we're watching another Shizumaru view. All right. Dude. But look how different this game looks because of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice jump C. Ugh. Oh, wow, the cross under, but it traded. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, that's that air control I was talking about, dude. You know, it's fucked up because, like, so I really like Samurai Shodan because of the ground pussies, but this character is just the opposite of that shit. The character just jumps all over the fucking place. Dash M. Oh, he's not going to get it now. 12 seconds left. Oh, my God. And just like that, the life lead is almost evaporated for Hisho. Yeah, man. These big buttons do a lot of... Oh, my God. And there it goes. About stealing it away. Five seconds left. He's going to run away. He is going to try to... Oh, my fucking God. the back dash with the 6 b into WFT. And that takes it. Wow. Well played. This guy just died. Good stuff. He did the running off select. Caught his ass. Now they got to start over from scratch. The ball was like, well, that didn't work. I'm backing up again. Probably not going to let it get down to 30 seconds this time before it gets some action, though. Yeah, dude. I mean, both these guys have been holding on to that uh, turnaround punch button. Uh, so whoever lets it go. Oh, oh fuck. He's serious. <laughs> he smelled that coming before. This is going to be bad. Even wanted to do it. Now he just got to eat one tap and he's dead. Oh, wow. The white blood? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. That's funny. Yeah, man, knock the tar out of that boy. The tar, yes. Oh, oh, didn't, oh, no, oh he didn't get the cancel. Fuck. He might have fucked up his tap now. Now he don't have tap now. He really needed that. Very uh, big missed opportunity for our bow. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. And so does Earthquake, so does Yashamaru, and... Still opting not to use his there. Yeah, I know. You know the difference is between uh, Earthquake? See them trying to bait that. Is that when he jumps around like crazy, and he doesn't have a life lead, he's not dangerous at all. He 
Yeah, Earthquake doesn't even need to play that way. He's floating right above because it's dangerous for Earthquake. This fucking character doesn't lose anything from jumping that way. The Shamaru is different. Shishamaru is in the same boat as fucking Chizamaru. He's just not as good as Chizamaru because he doesn't have um, all these cancelable tools and a good weapon flipping technique and a DP. And a projectile and a full screen SSM. Nice air to air from uh, Abao. Mm -hmm. Abao right now with some data download, possibly. A little more aggressive. Oh, God. that was so early. Oh, I'm just, I'm restreaming uh, Top 24. This is, this already passed by. This is from, this is from 3, 3 a.m. And he definitely. 3 a.m. last night. Had did that reflect. He did the deflect a little early, but that's just a testament to how active the deflect frame It is quite active. Nice. Uh, jump back A from Hisho seals, seals that round. Yeah, man. Those SSMs, those yeah, will ooh. knock the change out of What do you think of Wan Fu? I think he's good. Man, the recovery on that fireball. He's got the tools to fight in a tournament. Just saying. His only problem is that... Um, his only problem is human error and decision making. It's really easy to fuck up the whole matchup as Wong Fu players have the tendency to fuck or kill themselves. Alright, Abao with a lot of work to do right now. This is not impossible. Oh, 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 he's catch up. oh no. Oh, he's good. SSM. Oh. No SSM? No SSM from Abao. He probably can't SSM. He's probably holding it for tap. So it's nice to have that threat in the back. And he was up pretty uh, convincingly in this round. So. Yeah. But, uh, uh, dude, things can turn around in an instant against Shizumaru. Sometimes they don't SSM with Shizu because they don't want to let go of tap. So they just go for a weaker punish. So heavily scaled because of the throw, but uh, still quite significant damage. Abao now has the light death. Oh, no! Man, he could have got more damage out of that. He actually could have won. He, he tried to bomb that 5C, like, got his ass. wanted to do like a back dash, uh, instant overhead or something like read from a bow. Yeah, but yeah, that was very smart. Uh, the meaty 5C. Psychic. And now a bow just like, all right. Hope all 30 y'all having a good day today. Hope y'all as excited as I am to watch Top 8. Appreciate everyone who followed me today. Doesn't even want to deal with that close float Ugh. situation. That close float is so terrifying. It is, I hate man. it. Oh, no, uh, went for the jump back air to air, but uh, a little bit misspaced. Now, Bao needs to make a big play right now. We're running out of time. He shows totally cool just playing this neutral game of I'm just gonna stay up here until Yo, you make me fall. Both these players are holding on to that turnaround punch. Oh, yeah. Um, and we both both still have that rage explosion available to them, so we could have much longer than 30 seconds potentially. Uh, thanks for the follow, TV, the man. A lot of floating going on right now. Nobody wants to be on the ground longer than... Oh! That almost anti-aired, but, uh, not quite. I almost want to say that was an accident. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. there, he had to burst that. He would have been dead. That's actually, yeah, that's pretty good, because he's he no longer has that turnaround punch, basically for the rest of the round. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Now he can't burst out of that anymore. He has to eat every bit of damage. You never know when he's going to let go of the float, and that's so scary. Uh, on the receiving end. About would love to even this up right now. Does not want to go All right. like this. Yeah. <laughs> About, of course, trying to run away. He's still got that radius so He can control the timer whenever he wants. And now he's got, I think, the slight... Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, he had a burst, too. Thank God he opened it up with a 2H. Otherwise, that would have been a wrap. Yeah, exactly. He wouldn't have had time to react. My goodness. He's got all the pressure in his favor right now. You know what? Actually, I've been, I'm I'm watching this and, I, and I'm under. I'm thinking about how they can nerf Shizumaru. Sealing that round. So. That was absurd. And now about like, damn, I gotta do that all over again. Dude, this matchup is. This like, character. I, I, I always complain about mirrors in this game, uh, but this Shizumaru mirror match. When this fucker falls down, he actually gains a lot of speed on the way down. So what they should do is they should make his flow, his drop, not so fast. That way, at Eason, you can just call his ass out. Or it's a lot hard. Or it's a lot easier just to deal with him coming down. Yeah, when you got those man. That's a good way to deal with this motherfucker. For sure. Because half the reason why he's Eason, he's not Easonable, is because he falls so damn fast. And he can just come down with C. He's so fast. 
Just tell me Amakusa Am Am is going to be in season two. That's scary, dude. What, he could just do that on command? Oh, yeah. I can't tell you that, man. I can't I can't promise you that character's going to be in there. There's no boss characters in this game at all. It'd be cool. Maybe they'll release all of them in a pack. Maybe they'll be like, hey, this is the boss pack. You get Amakusa. You get Ghetto. You get Zonkuro. Oh, uh, thanks for the follow up on the fight. Kind of sweating right now. Yeah, but I was like, I ain't got those, or do I? I don't got those. <laughs> six six D catches him running. And now he's it's nothing to be uh, to give up on. He still has a very solid neutral man. Three pro cancel into the fire. Nice. Uh, this, this is like JC. This is game. This run. This match is decided by two C and JC. Uh, oh, oh my God! Catch him! No, float it out of it. Float it. That was almost some Galaxy Brains uh, stuff. Like if he had caught him just falling? Yeah. All right, Abao's looking like he might take this round, and we're going to go down to the final one quite possibly. Unless, actually, he's been charging chat the whole time, too. You never know. Yeah, dude. I want the original cast in this game, at least. I mean, yeah. Max tap on deck. I'm fine with just getting a season two. I, I'm not, like, too picky. I would like, uh, I would like Kusa Regetto. Just so he's in the game, and we have this big, ugly ass character that people have to look at. Dude, but I don't think he's gonna be in there. All right, there we go. First attack. Oh, the first. Blow. Yeah, dude, Aru curving the curse force is hilarious. He's like, there was a time where he was gonna say he dodged this motherfucker, and he stopped himself. He was like, I, 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 he's like, I'm gonna dodge again. Uh, you know, he's like, I'm gonna dodge again, uh, guy. <laughs> Got Hisho in the corner and does allow. He's see what he does with it. Ooh, nice. Keeping him detained. Ganan? Oh, gets out with that. Ganan would be cool. Forward. Okay. There's kind of leap frog. If you didn't know, I have this amazing Ganan emote. Oh my god. Right now. That you can unlock with chat points, I think. Twenty seconds. Somebody might get sucked in the next button. Bro, somebody's about to let go of a button and everybody's gonna go crazy. This game is not decided by someone letting you do some shit go. Oh! Nice, that was such a good running uh, heavy. Oh, they evened it up just like that? Dude, who even has the life lead anymore? I don't, I don't know. know. I think Hisho has a slight advantage. Oh my god, maybe not even. anymore. It's gotta be even. Hisho clearly has an advantage right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, I respect that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, gotta do it. Yep, forced to do it. Nope. Yep. A bow is playing very aggressively. Oh wow, the fade away again. Oh my oh, god! My god. Oh, that was insane. He show feeling some type of way about it. And again, we see someone <laughs> running. He's gonna pop it off. He's like, yeah. Yep. Get out of here, lesser Shizumaru. The guy's like, damn. The victim doesn't bite. Exactly. In fact. Uh, 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 Hisho was ready for it. He he knew that he was gonna try to bait out the the, the jump backwards from him. So he just sat there, feet planted, saw him do the neutral jump, and then reacted with his own air to air. That's so cool. Very very smart. That, that was like it was literally like that's your life right there. Yeah. You're betting your entire life on the idea that your opponent all all night. Skip forward a little yeah. bit. Absolutely phenomenal. Stellar. Yeah, he probably did want to slam his fucking stick. You know, uh, all these great words that I could use to describe them. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the action as much as we are. Um, definitely keep it tuned here. Uh, we've still got a lot more. Seeger would be a cool character. Uh, See, I can understand y'all wanting Seeger. Seeger is a neat character. And he just looks cool as fuck. Um, over at the Bulix cabs. Yeah, but hell. I think. Let me see what they're playing. Oh, never mind. Oh, man, this is a fun matchup for Yashimaru. Oh, yeah. And it's a bunch of check. God dang it. Yeah, dude. That's that's who the that's who the curse was land on. You know what's messed up is that he was like, if it was a bug check, he was hovering over another character and then decided to switch over to Yasumaru. Oh, really? I'm like, dude, you would only do that during like, you know, a real match. Yeah. Is this infiltration is again? Button check. Who knows? Messing with me. It's funny though. Uh, Are we about to see Infel's fucking shit? And they don't 
get pushed in again? Yeah, they just kind of fall over. Yeah, they do that dramatic, like, flute noise or whatever. Did Infiltration win this set? No, he got his shit pushed in by, um, oh, Shiki. Yo, Earthquake again into Jube. Jube? All right. Ooh, this man picked Earthquake again. You know, it's not like Earthquake is so bad you can't fucking win. It's just, you know, I don't... Every time I... I when I see uh, Infiltration's Earthquake, I see someone who didn't do their fucking homework. Oh yeah, jump B. Yeah, it's absurd yeah. in this game. It's basically, that no hurt box in the front. Um, so yeah, pretty good button. I've, I've said a lot about it before. In the past. <laughs> like between me and y'all, him getting into um the SNK World Championships by going to that Invitational Chinese tournament. Or they had, they didn't even have the game for more than like a couple weeks, and winning was fraudulent as fuck. That's hell. Battel not entirely confident in his options. Dropped a lot of damage right now. Ooh. I'm gonna try to anti chuck him here though. There was a time when you saw Jubei like on everybody's squad. Yeah, man. And we're still, we've seen a good bit of him. We've seen the quite a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Was... That was such a good read from uh, Battel. Waited oh, for the jump back and uh, hit the jump B to, to punish it. Yeah, he's back in the corner. What the hell? Out At 660, hits him out of the universal overhead, I believe. Oh, oh I can't believe he you landed that. that. 15 seconds. Oh, Battel has to make something happen, dude. Yeah, jeez. I bet you Battelle lands a dope ass parry or some shit. Ten seconds. Battelle has a slight life deficit, but not quite. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh damn, he got it. Seconds. He can't run away for six seconds, so he's gonna get this. Wow! He, he loses. Oh, this I is the reason why Earthquake has a hard good. time. Intelligent play from Battelle. Battelle right now putting infiltration through his paces. Oh, he hasn't shown that counter yet either. An infiltration would definitely be it. Oh, Chia! Yeah. That over is so good. Yeah, honestly, he hasn't even needed it, really. That's, like, such a big, like, bet. Um, and he's just been beating infiltration kind of... Oh, my goodness! The read on the on the back dash. Can you imagine if he, sh if he ended up closing off Earthquake's jump heavy, though, with that counter? Uh-huh. Like, what's the infiltration going to use at that point? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't rate it to it or anything, so... That would be quite the statement to make. Honestly, I wouldn't. Okay, now this rage is gone. I thought, you know, maybe he should go for counter, but when that rage is cooking, if he fucks up the counter, this is ass. Nice. Just trying to bait it out right now. He's no longer just hitting buttons all willy nilly. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's crazy how many decisions Infiltration is making throughout the course of a single round, even. Um, he has to make so many good decisions in order to get that life lead. And it's him. funny. See, this is the shit I'm talking about, right? So... And just in three hits, yeah. Battelle just took Earlier we were talking about how Shizumaru is fucking point, broken, but like, it's because he can jump around like crazy. The round. Like, yeah. he just, he has Earthquake can jump around like crazy, but his shit does so little damage that if you take a hundred JCs in the air, it doesn't really amount to much. Because the JC doesn't hit multiple times in the air. But if you try to jump and follow Shizu and he hits you with JC, man, you are you got such a big deficit you got to make up, man. You can take a hundred of them fucking JCs from Earthquake in there. You don't amount of shit. You can't take no JBs, but Ur but infiltration here is not playing correctly. He's not reacting to anything. He's just trying to jump around. Needing to make perfect decisions constantly. I think that we're talking about. Um, Infiltration loot loss. Yeah, of course he loot loss. He don't have no real game plan. This ain't a game plan. He just doing shit. I, it got him far because here, here's why it's fucked up. This shit that he's doing will beat a lot of people that are ill prepared. If you haven't tried to find a way to beat this shit, it will just beat you out of frustration. But if you play someone who's solid and you try this shit versus them, you fucked. You fucked, because you're going to lose out on trades. See, now he's fucked. Just that one time, that's it. 
Now he's really fucked. Now he needs a hundred of them fucking JCs to come back. Yeah, this is uh, this is again a very tough spot. See, now he's just gonna do this shit. And I'm not gonna say that you can't win. Very much out of his comfort zone is infiltration. You know, yeah. you can't win with Earthquake. It's just more like you can't you can't play the way infiltration is playing and retain a life lead consistently versus smart players. That don't even take no fucking damage at all, man. He just couldn't do anything. Is it? Hey, I was wondering, is there a way you can shortcut piano hands in this game? Uh, it depends on what character you're playing. But in this game, you only need three inputs for Earthquake. And you can actually do... If you do a fast piano, you can whiff jab and cancel it into the, um, into the buzzsaw. That was an odd time to go for the throw. You light, medium, heavy, yeah, forward, heavy. Yeah, you hold forward and you'll, you'll whip the light and then cancel into the uh, buzzsaw. Oh my goodness, Mish is the punish. Yeah, that's a perfect punish. Bam. And that's gonna be one, one round. That, okay, so that round for Patel, I think we were seeing some cracks because he was playing oddly, um, so optimally there. And I think, the earthquake uh, ain't got no mix. So I just gotta, I just gotta beat him this he one. He ain't got no mix. He might be getting into his own head right now. I mean, that could be Curtis one right now because unfortunately, it's now one one and infiltration only had to spend. He just got footsies, and he could, he got some damn good footsie tools. It's just you can't play this way with him. You can't play the way infiltration's playing and expect consistency. Oh. Because he's just making it a guess every time he does JC. <laughs> Nice uh, universal overhead going over whatever Battelle went for there. The infiltration now is he's controlling the pace of this round. It's a different for everyone. Um, Charlotte's and Earthquakes are the same, but I think uh, I think Jubes and Tam Tams have one extra input. He has to do, and they have to they have to do four instead of three making theirs a little harder totals are very very even now oh wow. my god there's in the low he does that so so rarely yeah and it's such an underrated normal yeah man I agree. that or is jubei who needs three and charlotte has four so i can't remember but the most important part about it is not deflectible yeah that's true See, if he wasn't jumping around like a fucking maniac he get a done kill battle by now had he done a recoil Oh wow, god. that was the perfect time to press 5C. He doesn't go for that very often, but no, not at all. Oh, that's a big punish! Oh my god! Damn, is he gonna fucking lose? He's gonna lose because he just didn't want to play solid. Oh, wow. okay, yeah, force the rage flow there. He's not gonna want to do this with a guard break. Oh, damn. Never mind. I guess Vettel's gonna just fucking better it all. I think that was actually a smart, pretty smart decision. As soon as he ran forward into his face, uh, Infiltration only had like two, three options maybe that uh, are that make any sense to do. And it's East End beats like two of them. Right. So, uh, a very smart gambit from... Um, uh, from Vettel? Yes, Vettel. I hear you, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm, my, my brain is fried yeah. right now. But Infiltration, of course... Mm. I wonder how he's gonna change this yeah, shit up uh, a little bit. the right decision at the right time. Honestly, um, Arquette can actually punish um, Jubei's overhead with that weapon flip technique, but I don't know if it, or, I don't know if he actually knows that shit. In a position where yeah, right the opponent was just gonna neutral wake up, he was gonna eat something. Right, right. Nice jump A. He's been using those very well. His, all the buttons that he's been pressing have been very, very intelligent. But currently, yeah, he's looking, looking real strong here. Just showing you that. Not winning that last match has not soured his approach at all. Yeah. He's very much believing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mattel, though, he's got control of this round. Um, he's worked his way into the corner, though. That's like the second time he just backs himself up. I think he's just trying to run off that clock. Yeah, but, I mean, at this point, he's taking a lot of damage because Infiltration gets to dictate the space and he's back to the, to the, to the corner. And now I think, I think that's Infiltration has the life lead. Oh, oh he just ran up a command throw. What a sneaky command grab. Red level orange. And so, Whoa! Well, we went for it again. Very cheeky. Bam. Wow, with punish. That'll fall apart. He's still in this, though. He just needs one medium into the uh, DP. 
who have had this oh, in his he gets favor fucked. for the most for most of the round yeah. about to lose for a timeout. Oh, not enough. Yeah, and that's I don't know about that. There was no way he was gonna take take that round back, and he basically just gave Invocation some rage for free. You don't want to do that with uh pretty much the match on the line right now because yeah. after this, that's it. They gotta add suicides back into this game, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. Maybe that'll be in season two. I hope so. Yeah. But you get no. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's getting caught up in the infiltration space. There it is, Jason down the back roll. He's been going low on, on Oki. Right? Yo, that's a punish? I, I don't know if that was a punish. If it is, that's an insane punish. <laughs> Or an overhead. It's all about conditioning this game. And this matchup especially. And again, the Mattel, no, no uh, yeah. counters here. And not that he should be going for it every time, but... Right, it's so, I, so risky. And I think Infiltration is daring him to use it. Yeah, man. Okay. Damn, he snuck that scoop. Give him to the elbow. And again, Mattel with that humongous life kick that can easily disappear mm -hmm. in one more interaction that doesn't go in his favor. Oh my god. That's crazy that Earthquake's best poke is, is actually the kick. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. It's one of his best tools. Sneaks in the low, does Patel, and then oh, goes overhead. Yeah, he's like, you ain't getting that no more. Now you see you were trying to wake up 60k. You, you don't get it, bro. Interesting. That was... <laughs> infiltration just kept going uh, forward on his wake up, uh, daring him to go for the Oki, and uh, Vettel guessed right every single time. Or rather, Infiltration guessed wrong every Yeah, you ain't gonna wake up DP in a game like this, at least not with Earthquake. Yeah, I mean, you know, the guy doesn't have one. Uh, nice jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you can't wake up DP, especially not with Earthquake, and Aru's like, yeah, he don't got one. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That <laughs> man with, that man with throw. For sure. or, or that, yeah. I From think half screen. Oh, you're right, yeah. I think maybe he just hit the uh, CD to the late. Yeah, or like he didn't get all the, the directions correctly. <laughs> well, man, to come away with it with the life lead still. Uh-huh. 30 seconds left. The life totals are pretty big okay. right now. And that jump B is absolutely ruining Infiltration's day. That's this is actually like, really uh, close. Has been using very often is the 6-6-C, six, six the running uh, heavy attack. Uh, it covers a very good arc, and it's good for calling out jump backwards like that. Infiltration is using it a lot. I don't know. I feel like he should be using it more, the, uh, Battelle. Well, we got 15 seconds left on the clock. He's going to make something happen. Another run up K. This is very close. Oh, very, no. very, very close. And now it's not. take too much more. He might have to rage. Eight seconds. You see him just back? Yeah, there you go. He's going to guess He's wrong. This time. Right. If I'm sure he's going to eat raw, you send and lose. Eats in the low. Oh. 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 Go. oh yeah. God damn. He's like, yeah, I would have lived. Yeah, no, that, definitely. But... I think it's better to, to use it now. <gasps> he got his ass. He's dead. No, he's not dead. I forgot he got 50 extra health. Oh, he just rolled into the fucking jab. <laughs> Damn, Infiltration did not even get the top eight. To Battelle. Holy crap. Defending Japan from the Korean invaders. Battelle wow. feeling the love. Infiltration the giving it up. Yeah, that was such a good set. That shit was close. Oh, from both these guys. Wow, what a set. Whoa. Holy cow. That was crazy. And 40 people watching? Oh, Battelle. You guys just joined us. Appreciate it. And hope you guys had a good Friday. It's almost. Now it's fucking Saturday. Yeah, he almost looks deflated, but, uh. I mean, he I appreciate y'all who gave me a follow already. He did qualify for top eight. He's yeah, got man. all night to recover, so. Got one hour left till top eight. Him tomorrow. Uh, I cannot wait for that. I, I can't either, man. Like, what a day it's been so far. We still got some more coming your way, but right now we. And so. All right, let's get to the next one. Katsuji going back to Wan Fu, which is interesting because. Like you said, he got cornered. He had to j drop the wand. Yeah. Him. Now he's going back to him, which makes me, you know, so he really believes in this character. Yeah, I That's think not so. just a, a sleep. You sleep on this character. You don't know anything about this matchup. Right. No, this is my guy. I feel like it's it's almost like he's testing their matchup knowledge, right? Because it's it's the character is still fairly new. Right? Exactly. So it's possible that some of these players, maybe not at this stage in the tournament, but uh, some of these players might not be ready. For right. It. And the guy he had to switch characters against was. Yeah, certainly. Right. No problem, man. So, Catch you later, yeah. night, man. Not necessarily a terrible look just yet. Right. Right. All right, here we are. Big trade in Darley's favor. 
Good stuff from Koichi. Yeah, and both of these characters just dump damage. Yeah, you can't, again, you cannot uh, challenge Wanfu in the air-to-air -air situations like that because he'll just toss that pillar at you and it'll beat whatever you go for. Which is bad for Darling because she wants to use that jump heavy yeah, almost all the time. This guy loves that ass attack. The important tool for her is her jump heavy. Well, all her jump normals even are really good. When you, cut, when you cut that off, you know, she's just gonna... <laughs> that man gets hit, yeah. he throws the ass. That, you know, that ass is punishable as fuck. If you can but you I guess if they don't know... Oh, fuck, that was gross! That'll do it. He didn't have to do that. He could have weapon flipped his ass. But I guess he didn't realize he had weapon flip. Yeah, right, there's no blood. Why would there be, why would there be blood? He's only know, right? dropping, like, this huge pillar on top of Only somebody. trust your face like a grave. Yeah, no blood. Oh, the command grab makes his first appearance today. Right, you want to see this uh, Guanfa go far? Oh, does he lose? And you spoiled me? I ain't watched this shit. Kind of. I hope he. Damn, I hope you're wrong. I hope you're just saying shit. Oh, you forget the result? All right. That couldn't have that much block stun on it, really? It kind of might. I don't know. Oh, no. I'm show up in the chat that's a spoil this shit. Not quite. Or at least put me on oh, tilt, okay. thinking I'm spoiled. <laughs> All right, we saw Kostaji. This match uh, almost got a little bit away from both of these characters, like having a very solid game. <laughs> oh, what a dive. That was good. Spencer, we can hear you. Weapon flip, man. <laughs> anyway, Katsuji letting that round get away from him as well. Hopefully oh, now you want to throw the damn pillar? Nice. Good job. Ugh. This guy working them folks. Koichi. Yeah, Koichi now at a uh, slight life deficit. I actually have not seen a, a Wanfu. I have not seen this Wanfu anti air one time with the DP. But it's pretty. The DP is not even as good as an anti air as his JB, actually. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Oh my goodness. The what a crazy answer. Yeah, why would you do that, dude? Now you're fucking dead. Red this is why you don't throw the fucking pillar, man. From uh, Katsuji, Koichi uh, goes up pretty convincingly in that final scramble. It's just like that, yeah, Koichi. I remember I told you guys this is why Wanfu's lose because they just throw the pillars when they don't need to throw the damn pillars. The moment they threw that peep through that pillar, that was a wrap. He lost. Yeah, because I mean, that, I'm pretty sure that pillar crossed up there, and uh, uh, Koichi blocked it perfectly. And then made, uh, made all the correct reads uh, during the disarm uh, situation. So right. really smart. Uh, I like the way that he used that rage explosion too to push uh, uh, Katsuji away from, from his, the pillar. Yeah, yeah from it's the crazy. Pillar. He was he had he could have won that shit. Switching over to the Jubei. And he decided to throw the fucking pillar. He's sticking with Darley since he won the previous match. Uh huh. And I wonder will Jubei's jump medium be able to deal? He just with can't resist killing themselves. Darley. Obviously, Jubei can just throw that out at the moment he hits Airborne. Uh -huh. And if Darley, you know, what, isn't ready for it, she can just get stuck every time. Yep, yep, yep. So I feel like this actually might slow Koichi down quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's all about like the, the spacing in this game, or in this matchup, rather. Uh, this game, too, even. Like, uh, very important to, to know. This is why I forgot one food one. Including your, uh, air oh, air so you just don't remember because... Mm -hmm. This guy fucking swapped after he killed himself. Exactly. Must Unga Bunga throw pillar. He could have just held on to the motherfucker. He didn't even throw the pillar when it was a good idea. If he had his weapon flipped half the time when he the guys with the throws, he could have won. Like way, way earlier. I mean, he picked Jubei now. Now he can't kill. Well, I guess he still can kill himself by fuck up the DP, but it's a lot higher to fuck up. 5M. And we see right now he's gonna keep that range, baby. Mm -hmm. I can tell this guy's on too. Uh oh. He, he, he is like confused on what he's supposed to. He's like in between Wanfu and Jubei right now. I said. That's what you right now. Not looking that comfortable at all. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Big whip on the grab attempt again. Uh, Koichi went for it. 
got a lot of nerve rolling forward and waking up a button suit. Right? Ooh. Oh, wow, the chase down. Oh, oh no. shit. Clash. First one of this, uh, Damn, he's... Yeah, uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> what a guess. If he wins still, he's like, okay, I'm about to say, if he wins this, he's, he's pretty, he's pretty cold. That was really good. I mean, that's, that's basically a huge wall of hitbox. Mm -hmm. So, uh, very, very well played there from, uh, Koichi to, to just throw that out there. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, but wish the throw and then gets the 660 punish. Chases down the back jump. Another good uh, <laughs> jump C. Dolly I swear these dollies be losing and they just get two JCs back the back and they're backing the motherfucker. Ah, ah dies. Yeah, I guess he didn't want to possibly lose. <laughs> Only when she drops the saw. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. This guy's on tilt. He don't know what to do, man. He looking at him, he's just doing shit. What if he wins anyway? in a lot of trouble here. Does the early jump see again? Nobody home that time. Oh, yeah. damn. He might have just threw the third round. He might just win now. I don't know. He just threw the third round, man. Now, he might win the fucking oh, game now. It was just the round. I was like, dude, it's just. Is this top eight? No, this is uh, top 24 from yesterday. Now he's going into this. Top eight, don't start for another hour. Whatever works, man. So you call that martial arts? Yeah, whatever works. Full arcs, PR. Oh! Okay. I know you, Clorox. Um, You're a Bates' Dolly yeah, guy. Blowback from uh, oh wow! Oh no! The command grab. And it's oh, so little... subtle. The animation for that is so subtle. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't really look for that normally. Right. Oh, oh that's it. That's a lot of damage. I don't know, man. This this round. Man, he fucking threw this game. When he bursted the the second round to attempt to force a victory, he fucked up this third round. That's maddening. Nice jump B from uh, Katsuki. What? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Got his ass. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. A lot of really He's weird bursts going on in uh, this top 24. He's only got one more game to give. That dude on the right is like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, the, this, this Jube is making a lot of heavy, easy, a lot of easy punches. I agree. The, the thing is, though, is that I think the other guy is even more nervous, and it may play into his favor. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. It's just that one bad decision, I think. And oh my goodness, the Tam Tam. Okay. Oh, Tam Tam? Huh. Counterpicks on counterpicks. Yeah, this game is very. Now, who got the? I don't know how many of y'all got the Tam Tam emote. Let me just put my Tam Tam emote. There we go. Yeah, what if he's He's like the only character I think that you could just <laughs> like, be like, um, I'm a Shizumaru player, and everybody would be like, oh, okay, you're smart. To your goods, yeah. yeah. Fucking Tam Tam. All right, man, let me see this Tam Tam. All right, Tam Tam. I haven't seen Tam Tam yet today, so I'm excited to see this. Tam Tam, of course, very long normal. Heavy, here we go. One of the In my opinion, challenge Jubei's ground game. as a Tam Tam main, this match is not very difficult for Tam Tam at all. I think it might be even in his favor. Oh my goodness. All right, the big deflect. But the difference is here is that I think this guy does not know how to play Tam Tam very well. <laughs> so he got fucked real quick. I mean, it, it, it's literally like, how you feeling, man? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, and the, the, the time he used it in the last game, it's there was a case for it. So yeah. I should stop harping on it. The now he's got weapon flip technique, so now he can punish everything. That was a crazy uh, whip punish there. No, it was. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting way more cautious now. He's like, oh man, I can't even stick out my best buttons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see uh, Katsuki going for those uh, deflects in neutral uh, because he's expecting those buttons, those long range buttons from uh, Tam Tam. Um, and that's going to be a big part of this matchup. Is um, if, you can, if you get hit with Mula Mula that close, you can actually punish Tam Tam on hit. Oh, he got his ass. Damn, he's, I think he's going to lose right here. Why would you roll forward, man? That was odd. Oh, boy, yeah, now he's got a burn. This guy's going to lose because he's on tilt. Yeah, that's it. 
Damn, get fucked, yeah, man. That sucks. Hail Mary sends a lot, which again, uh, not always the worst decision because the way this game works, it beats a lot of the different options that make sense once you get up mm. close into their face. But uh, that was something else. Uh, Katsuki, People just assault. People just like whatever. You're yeah, gonna yeah. have to make. I've seen Tan Tan twice on this stream. I'm not gonna give. Yeah, exactly. They're not. Like they have not been very good. It by like conditioning them to move when they run up t into their faces. Yet you know, like they they like they expect them to respect. Uh, you know, the, them, their their offensive capabilities. Mm. Um, oh shit! Okay, we got I, K2 back I, again. Same thing with K2, who was the less aggressive Ukyo against uh, Shadow Knight. At least at first. At first, yeah, and then he kind of started up. taking more risks, yeah, and got paid out for it. <laughs> and here it is. Pretty slow. Oh my goodness! Ooh, yeah. Damn, what a what a whiff! Like I was saying that float altering your jump trajectory is such a strong tool in any fighting game. You might think twice about that. Honestly, time. this is fucked up. I hate watching this matchup because he can float just outside of uh, Subami Gaishi, and then he can just jump in JC. It, I feel like this match is fucked up for Ukyo. Like, if there was a match that Ukyo struggles, I think this is one of them. Oh, wow. Not enough time to punish that. Mm -hmm. If he had gone for a deflect there instead of the dodge. Because look, he just do shit like, he just bait, yeah, he's baits, and baits, and baits. That, that cost him. Basically, most of the damage that he's taken is from those two uh, with the Tsubames. Yeah. Live by the Tsubame, die by the Tsubame. And just abolish just in all these spaces that uh, K2 cannot really That was a miss, that was a miss, Tsubame yeah. guy. Shoot. K2 just feels he's probably really, flustered right now. Uh, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable and frustrated because he's like, dang, dude, like. I missed and then I'm oh my god He wasn't even charging it the whole time. Right. But I like that. He's he cashed out when he could. He's up around, so he's got plenty of time to charge another one if he feels like it. This match is oh, fucked up, man. He can just kinda do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, I don't know, he's kinda playing a little sluggish, I wanna say. Yeah, and now we're seeing some movement out of him and LK. I don't know if he's just cutting or what. Yeah, he's uh shaking the rust off. You know? yeah, he's like, Hold on, I gotta... it's, been a, it's been a long break since he last played. So. Hands are cold. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warming up. Nice! Ooh. That's a way to stop it, I guess. Very, uh, rarely seen option, but very good nonetheless. And you can tell Abaos is like not scared of that slide whatsoever. Damn, he's so scared to Tsubami Daishi because of the fucking stupid ass umbrella, man. He can jump up and Tsubami Gaishi though. Twenty seconds for uh, K2 to make something big happen here. Ukyo, another. Oh my goodness, a reversal Tsubame. Only seventeen seconds left. Us. I don't know if he can wait this out very much longer. Yeah, Ukyo is another one of those characters. They're not necessarily the best at making these comebacks because he has to take a lot of huge risks to do it. If he rages right now, he's gonna at least get advantage on offense, but at the same time, he's still gonna force the opening. Bro, I would just do it. I know, right? Come on, you're running out of time anyway. You Don't just get do chipped it. out, dog. Oh my god, what are you there we go. I <laughs> 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 just fucking first chat that immediately. That's smart because he expected um about to. I guess best case uh, scenario, he won worst case scenario right, next case round. Case Immediate descent, descent. Yeah. right? But uh, about was like, no, forget that. I'm just gonna push, press this button. Because I know that you're too. Well, I don't know if you're too smart or too respectful to just Eason right after the rage. I mean, so, there's like, a fine line between smart and stupid in in Samurai Shodown. Yeah, yeah, I was like, <laughs> damn, dude. It's like, if it works. If it works. Oh it works, man. This yeah, is a fucking burn, man. <laughs> What you got, Gaichi? You gonna be able to adjust? You gonna be able to anti these stupid ass umbrella trap? You gonna be able to jump up and Tsubami Gaichi? Just a little bit of the tip of that slash. You can see he's like, I'm good with that. I'm not going to try to press my luck here because this kid has way too many options on wake up against me. Yep, yep. Yeah, and going for risks like that, especially when you've got the life lead, uh, not necessary, and it could open you up to taking big damage if the other player is prepared. Which is crazy because Ukyo Oki, Oki is pretty strong. It's terrifying, it yeah. is. But it's also risky, potentially. Mm -hmm. Now, I bet you won't jump up in Tsubami Gaichi's ass. I was say, he was actually probably one of the only characters in this game that has that kind of setup. Going yeah, you're right, you're right. Ooh. It's a weird input, though, like, to do a manual jump into Tsubami Gaichi. 
So he might not have fried us that. Damn, that was a good way to punish. We see K2, he's looking a lot more comfortable this time around. I don't know what happened between those rounds. Oh, exquisite DP. Yep. Another one. Yeah, and gangbusters. Let's go. One more. Ten seconds. Oh. Beautiful backdash from K2. Yeah. So about, he did those uh, crazy DPs to try to condition uh, K2 into standing still when he approached, right? right. But uh, K2 was not conditioned at all, as we just saw. Backdash over the, the throw attempt. All right. Sorry, I had to move something real quick. Unfortunately, I mean, K2 was looking really good there anyway. But I feel like a ball was like, I, I think I'm not scared of you. Anymore. Yeah. You're going to have to do a little bit more than that, even if you take the round. I'm like, what? Oh my that was definitely a misinput on the Subami. Yeah. You see that all the time. Oh my god! Dude, he just did it to prove that he could do it. And it cost him. <laughs> At least that's what it looked like. Isn't that the story of all Ukiyo players? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Bro, you're telling me. <laughs> this shit is fucked up. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Ooh. Nice. Backdash is over the low attempt. Forgot about he, this one. Bro. I mean, it, the fact that he can just jump in on Okio is He's fucked up. a little bit more loose, I think, right now. Very good thing for him. Jubei is supposed to be, like, There's unfuckable. Where you really need to be on your game. Yeah, you do. You, when it comes to, like, anti-airs. Misses or gets blocked, it's scary for the uh, for the X2, you know? And that's true for a lot of characters in this game, but I feel like Ukio really leaves himself open. Yeah, man. Huh? Oh, oh my fucking god. Hold tight, buddy. Wow. That is straight. I can't believe that shit. Yeah. This, this, basically, this round is unwinnable now for K2. Oh my god. He's gonna try. He's like, whatever. Just kill me. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Oh, oh I, he expected the run up throw there. Oh wow, beats the backdash Tsubame with a jump C. Very well spaced from about. Come on, Okio. I ain't trying to watch eight season models in top eight. Oh, right now. Pipe possibly could. If I could keep it down to six season models in top eight, or maybe like two, two would be, I, I, I would take two season models in top eight. But anything more than that, I um, think I'm good. 6D sneaks it in there. Oh my god. Oh. He expected K2 to be a bit more fidgety and, went and let it rip there. Yeah, and K2 with the perfect punish. Just yep. Which... Whoa. Wow. That was odd. Oh, that was a bit outside. That was a good read from K2, but uh, slightly misplaced it. Oh my god. Did you burst? Oh, oh, dude, you should have burst him, man. Damage, bro. Yeah, even with the guard break, that is respectable damage. 13 seconds. Ah! Oh, you needed to. He's got those too. Okay, he was like, what a time to find out that a bow has the float cancel overhead. Oh, wow. See, he just falls too fast, man. It's just fucked up. Wow, sending him home. Yeah, he popped Good off stuff. on him. He was like, <laughs> "Yo, these two, these two are definitely good friends. Yeah, know like, each other from the KOS. I know he's salt. I know he's salty as fuck. He's like, "Fuck, man, fuck this fucking piece of shit." Oh my god, that was good stuff. Very solid showing from Abao. We're gonna see more of him tomorrow. In we got one more left, I think. Or besto esto, as they say here. Besto esto. Besto esto. It's gonna be. Let's get this last one out of here, and then. <laughs> I mean, I haven't, we can uh, come back in about 30 minutes. Haven't seen any uh, anybody fit looking sick. At least not more than usual. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what it looks like when they catch it. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's uh, apparently it sounds like it's a really bad flu. Well, they were actually warning us about that earlier on today when the broadcast started. The, uh, the MC of the show. Uh huh. Uh, it was only in Japanese, but he sent out a warning. Hey, remember to wear your mask because the coronavirus is going around. Now, the best up part was he didn't translate that into English for us. <laughs> hey, what are we, chopped meat, dude? Like, come on. Yeah, Juno's like, yeah, he's telling you to wear your mask, bro, so you might catch, like, something nasty. And I'm like, wow, why didn't he just say that? Oh, he, he did. He just didn't see. Have I think it's score. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, I got the gist, bro. The spirit was there. Right. We're no, it's not score. Running. All right, this actually might be a... No, not a Hallmark mirror, but Teru's going to run Hallmark most likely. Yeah. And fair, I, want, I almost want to say that was. Man, I don't know none of these fucking players. Yeah. I'm not very uh, knowledgeable about the Japanese samurai showdown scene. Or Darley. Yeah, we doing it. Oh boy, we doing it, baby. 
Yeah, that was the other uh, season Maru Mirror, the first one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's this is another fucking season yeah, Maru. If you're into the lore, uh, it's gonna be. Where'd that guy go? Where's Raina Petals at? Quite possibly four season models in top eight tomorrow. Boy. I think that's what like my count is at. That's right gonna. Now. That's hilarious. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to hear what certain people have to say about that. Oh, dude. He's all right. He's pretty good. He's a good character. God damn, we got another fucking Shizumaru. This is gonna be Shizumaru versus Halmaru. Right back at ya. Hey! Nice. What? Uh, Drop yeah, okay. I the dash. Yeah, but yeah he definitely can't. dropped the dash. Maybe feeling the nerves a little bit is fair. Awesome. I'm actually kind of burnt out on watching Shizumaru. I don't have any comments for the match. <laughs> This hot Maru is so nutty. I can't believe he got this Ooh, far. He got if no one's punishing this guy for the things he does, then he he can get as far as he wants, sadly. What, what the fuck was that one. shit? This guy is just bulldogging this season tomorrow. Oh my god! This what the fuck? So <laughs> that almost hit. The, the hitbox doesn't go as high as it looks, which is very deceiving. Yeah, that's this guy is crazy. Was, okay, now I see. That was actually, I see what you're talking about now. But of course, it's season tomorrow. You can float even. Yeah. Oh no, no, that's not good. Oh, that's it. What? Oh, my goodness. Excuse me, I don't know crap yeah. about this game. I don't know why he rolled back. He needs to stay near his sword. Oh well, he got it back anyway. But this is a little bit more damage. This is fucking nutty, man. Right now, fair is like, oh, whatever, dude. Come at me, old man. Yeah, I don't know about that. He just threw a bunch of fireballs for useless. Yeah, wasting his rage. Yeah, wasting his rage. That's with how much you really want to uh, make him scared of your run with uh with when you have rage. Now. The lube monster. Thanks for the follow. I feel like Teru just survives on raw emotion and energy. He thought he was playing Cass. Speaking of raw emotion. Yeah. This guy got aced. Damn. He let go of all the baggage, man. <laughs> He's nervous as fuck. All right. So fair up uh, pretty convincingly 1-0 against Teru. Yo, did this, look at this guy. Did he come straight from work? Time, man. Yeah. Like, I can't even believe him here. I just got off work. <laughs> What? Wow. That was a really good jump. The way this guy plays is like, I, I'm almost frustrated by it because I'm like, dude, do you just hit the, the heavy button all the time? Of course. This guy does play nutty. Yeah, Holy shit. Yeah, 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 man. Jump heavy is a pretty good button. Yeah, it is pretty good. All right, gets this on. Sword in the corner. Yeah, just picks it up. Now that would have been an SSM. Yeah, that would have been the time for a read. But uh, Fair is a bit more calcul. Well, I wouldn't call it like that, but like he's less. He's less risky. like to make a big call. He's more risk averse. Yeah. This match is kind of even, but I, I can only believe that Terra is gonna buck himself into a corner. Tries to run under C, but uh, slightly runs too fast or too far. Yeah, Fair just like I don't have to extend anything more. Like to... Wow, dude, was that a cross up or not? I can't even tell. That was crazy. That button. Yeah, we about so to have good. four season tomorrow's. Jump B. He's got a dodge or something. Oh, there it is again. Nice jump C. Ooh. I feel like Teru's just gonna get some momentum, yeah. and it's just gonna take flight. He's just gonna be all over. Him. He needs that one good hit. Nice. This dude is gonna win. I can With tell. This season tomorrow's gonna fucking he's win. That rhythm going. He's like almost Ooh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe just Tara's gonna fucking ace him. Whoa! Oh, that was Why? <laughs> trying to hold on to that left lead. What? He didn't believe. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh nice. That was good. Good shit, Tara. Big five. He put his whole back into it. He was, he was not having that random bullshit comeback. Oh, wow. He made a big read there. Oh, oh. What? This yeah, guy is nuts. Yeah, that would have been a perfect opportunity. Yeah, man. Left himself wide open. Mm -hmm. He's a bad dash, I dare you. 
Oh, just ran out though. Yeah, there goes the rage. Wow, Nico canceled. Don't press a button yet, bro. I hate seeing she's a mod jump around so much. I'm always got the tools to anti air him though. It's just, you know, people hesitate because they don't want to uh, eat a JC or some shit. There, you see him playing very compact now. Oh, wow. What a great DP from uh, Teru. Yeah, not a lot of really, really shallow damage there. Yeah. But I think he at least put the fear in uh, there. Like, hey, you were yeah. not going to float at that distance. Yeah. Is that the message of that one? He can do this. This is very winnable. He just needs a good play. Wow, what a face down. I wonder if he's gonna lose tap. Oh, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Amazing. What an amazing decision from Look how happy he is. He's like, thank you. Thank you for the win. Thank you for the win. Press three buttons and you press three buttons again. Congratulations. Don't feel yourself. This dude's married. This, this is very came straight from work. This other dude look like he's just trying to get by. He's like, for the love of God, just let me get a top A with fucking she's oh, yeah, Well, that level of respect on the field, they think they can back dash after the after the burst. Yeah. But this is yeah. Teru talking yeah, exactly. about. I'm a crazy. Bro, only no, crazy no. person would go for it, but Teru uh, has proven that he is a very. Well, now fair no. Oh my goodness. He learned the hard way. Yep. Man, is Teru gonna win this shit? The guy's playing like crazy, but he's catching up. Yeah, he went for that bait again. He, he His raw, like, like the damage he's doing to this guy at random is like mental damage. And so every time he hits the mental damage, the guy just does some other dumb shit and he eats, he eats shit every time. And suddenly, Shadow's gameplay style making total sense. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> what are you thinking there? Oh, there it is. He was like, bro, like <laughs> this guy's gonna fucking win. All right, I'm saying, amazing. Terror. The condition. Yeah. What was that? Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck was that? That is maddening, dude. Yeah. Your opponent is just doing that stuff, and then you realize later on, you're like, oh crap, I'm actually afraid. Oh, oh my dude, fucking what god. To, do to win this match. This dude is this gonna win! He's supposed to go this way, and yet this man is challenging every sensibility I've developed in Samurai Showdown. Yeah, absolutely. And all this damage that he's taken so far has been, well, not anymore, but a lot of it was from two heavies. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's He won! Like, no, that's he this guy fucking won! <laughs> I can't fucking believe it! Yo, Teru, like, <laughs> I thought he was gonna lose for sure. Oh, he's devastated. Yeah, dude, you won the, you lost the three heavies. <laughs> Broken. Yeah, he's broken oh. by it. He was um. Yeah, he just got dragged down. That is from, nuts. Uh, his level, basically. Uh -huh. Damn, he ate three crazy. fucking heavies. Wow, that was crazy. That that last turnaround punch. That was. I don't know. That was and two of them heavies are back to back. That was the crazy part. Oh, you want to go and play? Yeah, you want to go ham? I'll go ham too. Yeah, and Teddy was like, Nah, you don't. You don't play my kind of game. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you ain't uh, built for this. Yeah. Well, I think that's it for um. Yeah, very solid display of the mind games that uh. That's we'll it for see, uh, top 24, I think. Game, um, from Ted, I'm yeah, to that's it for top 24. So, I will be back in 30 minutes to do... Um, well, 15 minutes. I'll be back in 15 minutes to... Um, I'll take a 15-minute break. And, you know. We'll see. But I'll be back. Don't and um, you guys are into, uh, Soul we'll watch Soul Top 80 together. Next on this stream. Yeah, right away. We're going to be taking a quick six. Uh, yeah, right time. We're going to have a rollout ad. And then we're going to be bringing you back with some Soul Calibur 6. Aru and I are going to be seeing you tomorrow at 3 p.m. for Samurai Show on Top 8. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a good time. This is the first time we're going to get I thought we did great. I thought.